of other podcasts are not entertaining you in the world. There comes a time when you need the number one podcast to save you from boredom. And since in the conversation podcast, we are here for the people. Always. Say how are you doing today, man? How are y'all doing today? Y'all already know, man. It is your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, best film writer and director in St. Louis Facts, award-winning published author, actor, journalist, actor, business owner, nominated Hollywood music artist, number one bestseller. Lazy G so the turtle, man. Y'all already know, man. This is Uncensored the Conversation Podcast. Y'all ain't seen us in a Probably two weeks. I think it's two weeks right now because we was live. You know what I'm saying? We was live, you know, uh, two weeks ago. Then I, we was like, I, we was, yeah, Stacey was out of town. You know what I'm saying? Out the country. But it's still part of the country. But you know what I'm saying? We was in Puerto Rico, though. But we back now in this mug. So we are live right now. I know you missed us. Everybody was hitting me up like, hey, man, where's the show going to be on this week? Is the show going to be on this week? Two weeks. Yes, it be on. And look, everybody who was asking, y'all should have brought y'all, but I'll start to the, to the live podcast. Y'all only would have missed one week on this mug. But we are live right now on Facebook. We live on YouTube. Man, we are live. Where we live at, man? We live on Twitter. So if you don't catch us tonight, you can catch us tomorrow on wherever. Wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, Pornhub, XXX Video, wherever you listen to it at, you can live. All right, man, we about to get, get this mug cracking. First up, we have the wonderful, amazing, talented, one people to know, Mrs. G Soldier. One people to know, we got Stacy motherfucking white in the house. <laughs> What the hell that's supposed to mean? With your crooked hat. That's right. Don't play with me. Anyway, y'all, happy Monday. Um, I had an amazing birthday. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Um, It was really nice in Puerto Rico. But I am happy to be back. Let's get it. Let's have an excellent show. All right. Y'all already know. We got the woman. If y'all want to know. She just was late to the show. If you want to know if she how you got to do is look at her eyes. We got time for the throw. <laughs> First off, again, happy birthday, Stacy. I was not late. I didn't want to hear his whole introduction. All right, we're going to take time without the screen for me. She got to stay in time out. But first, let's <laughs> know we got the wonderful, amazing it. I don't know if she be selling hair on, if she be selling perfume. I don't know. If she I don't know what she be, that she be having it in the background though. So we got Tara Michelle up in this case. Say some smoke. Hi everybody. <laughs> it's Tara Michelle, aka a- a- Opinionated Sense. Shout out to all my subscribers, all ten thousand forty five of them on YouTube. What up? You know what? I gotta take off the screen because you Do got. Y'all no, know I heard you this no every Monday for six years. Talk that shit. You want a cookie? No. Um, actually, sure. Make sure it's like edible, special. Edible cookie, not a plan. Not for real. I hope salute. all cookies salute are edible. Salute to that, salute to that, Stacy and. <laughs> right. I think Stacy ain't missed no show though. Tabitha missed the bomb. You know what I'm saying about three or four shows out of six years. Huh? I said you missed about three or four shows. Out of well, six. she was entitled to that. Look how long we've been on this doggone show. That look at everybody ask you that. And That's only the reason I have valid reasons. Okay, so I have medical issues sometimes preventing me from being here, and I have I want I want to always be pleasant. And if I feel I'm a snap off, I won't show. Talk that stuff. Tap. Talk that stuff. Tap. <laughs> that shit. Tap. Hey, I think I'm in a zen. I'm in a zen zone with everyone. Um, she, she she came to my class up in this world. 
Hell no, with his oh opposite class. Mm, the Zen master. The Zen master. <laughs> All right, then we got, listen, we got the person. If you want to know something about her, look at her head. If you want to know something, she always laying in the bed. Backstory, Ricky, up in this face. Bars. What in the world? You have not seen me in the bed, and I don't know how. All right, be quiet. Ain't nobody care what you're not playing. <laughs> See, he couldn't do that last. <laughs> Back, because he you, got the shit slapped out of him last. How you, how you doing, Rick? <laughs> how you doing, Rick? I'm doing amazing per usual. That is good. That is how was y'all trip? Y'all enjoyed it? That's great. She right. so, what, so what you like, I asked, like, he, said, he introduced yeah, yeah. Stacey as Mrs. G Soldier, and I love that. Did y'all elope? Let me find out. That's been space white. First off. Let me find out. To live, he still says Stacy White. <laughs> but to survive is to find meaning in the suffering. Stacy, I right. like ramen noodle her. <laughs> Next up, we got my boy. Battle rap. Same home, long gone. What's wrong? We don't know. Just don't forget the three. We got tone bone. <laughs> he got new hair. These intros, bro. Yeah, I got new hair. Hey, this is I look like a pterodactyl, don't I? Hey, <laughs> yeah, uh, then we got my boy. You already know his name's Superstar now. After this, but we got see we got Superstar Louie in the house. What's back away? What's what it do? What it do? It's Gateway Louie, man. What's happening? Gateway Louie. Now listen, we got my boy. My other boy, him and Tone Bone always smoking. Chiefing. Yeah, stay the top of some I be eating. <laughs> we got my boy Nucci in the building. What's cracker like him? What's the word, John? It's Nucci banging in my fucking building. I'm about to roll the fuck up and get this shit cracking. What I tell what I tell you, see. <clears throat> All right, yeah, before we start, man, everybody wanna know how did y'all enjoy the live podcast show? They wanna know how was it and everything. The people who they come to let them know, yeah. They should have came if they want to know. They know. See, all in our business. Who raised these niggas? <laughs> Louis, tell them, tell them how, how you felt, Louis. How was your experience? Man, I, I, I think it's something that that's the beginning of something. I feel like it's something that we most Where? definitely need to continue doing. There you go. So put them in uh, I feel like it's something that we should, we should uh, promote. Mute tone. Come on, Say mute what? yourself. Bro. Mute tone. We were talking to Tom. Go ahead. Really? I feel like it's something that we should most definitely continue to do. I honestly, I feel like it's something we should strive to do at least once a month, just to be able to build a fan base and an audience, and um, and, and and really build around it. Because I don't feel like nobody in the city is really doing that, or that we really know of that's really doing what we just did. You know what I'm saying? And um, I I feel like that. The city needs something more than just strip clubs and clubs and talk that shit, talk that shit you know bit. all of that type of stuff that that can be family friendly, but at the same time could be what adults do. And, and you know, because we was able to drink, we was able to eat, we was able to, you know what I'm saying? Like the, like 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 uh, Darius Brown said, they got real popcorn. Mm. <laughs> Hilarious! Oh my god! Yeah, but look, I definitely I de look. We definitely working on something big. You know, it's yeah. nothing wrap right now, but. It is definitely working. Definitely on some big, even bigger. Hey man, what's up with the what's up with what's up with Murphy and, and Kiwan? Hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, listen, hey, listen, look, salute to my boys. But what I love is not one single person asked about. They were just like, "Hey man, we enjoyed the show." Not one yeah. person was like, "Hey man, where they at? Why they?" Ain't, you know what I'm saying? So they just yeah, let yeah, you know yeah. how, how lit we was. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I love. Um, Real quick, Lacey, I will say this, and I'm not, this is just my opinion. I think us as a panel, we can carry a show. That so if we so. do this, I don't think we have to have comedians and extra people. It's so many of us that to yeah. give us all our normal time to shine and let our personalities come through, I don't think we need extra big names to, to bring. They're going to come see us regardless. I agree. I agree. I feel you on that. All right, Tab, how, about, how was your experience? Tab? Um. I just think it was high energy. It was fun. Um, it was a great night. We didn't want it to leave, and we were very surprised that Louis like eight foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> like I did not know that he was part. like Shaquille O'Neal height, y'all. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Right. It was my first time meeting him in real life. 
Mm-hmm. Bars. What about you, Ricky? Um, Tara, no, not to sit by me next time. <laughs> oh my God, bro! <laughs> Put me on the other end of the table of them as well. <laughs> from both Tara of them, was... separate them. Yeah, from yeah, yeah please and put me away like... from them. Do like God, girl, God, girl, God, girl, please. something like that. Because yeah. I said that, but well, look. I think the only reason we did that because well, that was sexy. Was well, we can yeah. battle on the side of them. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I had Tara was laughing so much at me. She was just like, "This girl ignorant." I just, I was, I kept saying, "I want to go home." Like this, I can hear that. Me like, <laughs> I know, right. Tara, you didn't hear it, but listen, I, already, I enjoy myself. I'm. I think actually the behind the scenes conversations <laughs> could have a whole nother show. Yeah. And have a whole nother audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. My daughter was calling me. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. She she keep calling me. Uh, I'm gonna wholeheartedly enjoy myself. I'm always gonna authentically be me. But I would just like to say, you know, once we get the show started, that I am not Louis' secretary. I don't know what the fuck he be doing in real life. Don't ask me. I don't know how he is. I don't know what type of gals he like. Ask me. <laughs> I just want to throw that shit out there. What I don't like being twenty one. It was crazy. Like for one, it was I'm crazy. not sleeping with, and for two, I don't know like that. Okay, so listen. Ask that person you want to know and shoot your shot at them. Okay, exactly. The I got pulled over twice. For hey, what's up with Lou? Ma'am, I don't time. know. What we doing? Every time. Superstar uh, Louis. Louis uh, time, superstar bro. Louis. Superstar Louis. You got, you got the group. Oh, I forgot man. to add that I am I two and a half yeah. inches taller than Tone Bone. Just want to make sure yeah. everybody yeah. knows. <laughs> All right, Stacy. What about your experience? And the fact that we saw our old boys uh, yesterday, you could have asked them why they show up, Lacey. Um, anyway. Um, no matter. It don't matter. But still, we support them. They need to support us. Tom, can right. you stop oh, I mean, somebody just permanently uh, mute him. Yeah, this is too much. Go ahead. Look, I, I think it was a wonderful experience, uh, despite like people who, that was there. I didn't even trip off of, you know. I'm so proud of myself. Some people had reported out to <laughs> but is that really? <laughs> Lacey, you gotta use your skills now. And take For real, off. you gotta mute the people. <laughs> That's Lacey, shit, I think. No, it was Ricky. Yeah, I but everybody was asking me about Louis. People was asking even about Tap. I was like, I, listen, I don't know. Y'all need to right call them up, uh, inbox, you know, hidden uh, messages. I don't know what y'all do. People was even asking them about Nucci. I don't know. Like, what the hell? Y'all interested? In <laughs> we want y'all to watch us and engage I mean, with us on the show. Right. Oh, I mean, yeah. I can speak for yeah. chat for sure. all the time. Oh, yeah. Hit them up like y'all hit me up. How about yes. that? I mean, we got our social <laughs> media out there to follow us. I'm just saying, y'all know they can look at our names and, and look us up. Shit, I get hit up all the time. That's why, oh boy, tell us some mystery stuff. So, listen, dude, you want to keep on playing. Look, these people keep Most of us up. are very friendly in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so who not friendly? I knew the person who's not gonna speak up. <laughs> but, but it was it was amazing, you guys. Good job. Oh, All shit. right, what about you, Nucci? Uh, shit, no, it was great. It was a good thing. I think. Uh, I think you know what I'm saying. Shit, a lot of us just learned that she the the audience fucked with us like that. You know what I mean? Um. That night of shit. So I, I think it'd be a good thing to keep going, you know what I mean? Uh bring people out, let them engage with us for real, you know what I mean? They get to know us online, but they don't know us in person, you know. So I think they'll like that. That part, that part. What about Tom Bone? I don't know what to do that. Huh? <laughs> Tony, was my first time meeting you. How was your real experience? Well. How was your experience? Your experience on the podcast <laughs> on the pod, oh, being oh, five foot three and all on the live podcast on the live joint. Yeah, well, that shit doing. was dope. Um, that shit was dope. I like pissing people off. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we got to be at a place where we can smoke some motherfucking weed though. Look, no, no, no. I don't know. Hold on, Tony. No, thank you. 
Hey, look, Tony, before not you finish, no say, hey, say Tony, some people. Hey, look, hey, Tony, before you finish, both Nucci and Tony called me back to back. They were like, hey, man, can we smoking her? They were like, that. can we, just can we those, vaping her? Like, <laughs> both of them said the same shit. <laughs> I was like, no, I <laughs> But now, go ahead, Tony. Yeah, that was some kind of, that was, like, you can't even vape. That's crazy. I don't vape anyway, but still, <laughs> that's crazy. But now it, it, it was really dope to see you guys in person. Um, you know what I'm saying? And let y'all be in my presence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was, nah, I, 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 I love y'all energy. I love the, uh, the camaraderie, all that shit. Like, that shit was pretty dope. Um, yeah, it was just, it was dope. The, the crowd, the, the female saying that I'm hurt, that shit was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people was coming up to you. I said, hey, you my favorite. This is my Yeah, hey, that hey, was so what dope. Heard, if one of, hey, look, they lied. To, it, it, one person lied to all of us. Because I'm pretty sure that one person that went to everybody and said, you my favorite. Yeah. Told, hey, I think you're looking. I had I a couple you know of people say that. That was nice. Because I was like, I know, I know not, you lied. I, well, I heard him say it to somebody. Hey, hey, look, look, look. You, you. I know you're watching. That wasn't cool to be lying all the way. I had some people tell me I was their favorite, and then I had some people say I was one of their favorites, but that's nice. I don't care if they came and said that to everybody. If they like yeah. us all, that's a vibe. I love that. I think yeah, I, just, 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 just say the whole cast and shit. Don't come and tell me I'm your favorite, and you like every motherfucker right. body. Just say I, that I we like dope. Them. Maybe they told you you were one of their favorites. Yeah, I'm one of them. Nah, he just nah. heard the word hey, favorite. Hey, it was no I drugs in my system. I knew what the fuck I heard. <laughs> Tone, I heard it too. <laughs> that motherfucker said, you my favorite. And I heard him I said, say oh. I'm like. But my head blew up, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marcia Whitelow said everybody did a great job. And she said, hey, you was there, Marcia? Tone is such a Virgo. Hey, yes, he is. Talk about me. You ain't talking about me. No, <laughs> oh, you, you, you forgot the three. Tara, did you, you see us stuck in the garage? You gotta, you gotta put. No, <laughs> why would you? Why would you get out? I saw y'all had yeah. stuck in the garage. I said, that was, was you behind going. us. Yeah. No. Cause I, you, that thing was tripping. It went in, and it, so I it got stuck. I got stuck too. Cause it was. I was yeah, like, "Oh hey, Lord, let me hey, get out." I tried to run through it too. That shit did not work on me. Yeah, you got to grab that engine. You got to yum. Hey, hey, but I, I am the only thing that I'm upset about, honestly, is that everybody. Is that I'm taller than you? No, girl, you not that fucking taller than me. Girl, you hella, you you short. Oh my you God! You walked up to me and then you looked me in my. You looked up I at me. I looked down into the stage. Yo, bro, how tall are you? Five feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like how don't everybody have... just left. I thought we was gonna go and eat or something. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't figure out where we wanted to go. Everybody just did something different. Yeah, we do gotta do better with that next time, though. Louis, we ain't even in the group, so <laughs> you don't yeah, even know our chat. We need to make some plans. Yeah, it's, it's good that he's not in the group. Lacey got an ad, I think. Y'all want to be in the group, Louis? Hey, yeah, I, I left that beer yeah, 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 times, dude. Enjoy from the group. Enjoy your peace. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, he can handle He's a grown man. He got to separate the beer. Nah, it, don't, it, don't be that bad in the, it don't be that bad in the group. Nah, I'm just talking, man. You already, already know I want to be I want to be down with the, hey, with the team, man. Come on now. How y'all playing right there, though? Listen, y'all, we got big things popping, though. Even bigger than that. So stay tuned. Yeah, it's going to be big things popping. But our first topic, man, we got to get into what everybody been talking about. Uh, Jarvis McIntyre, you know, rest the peace. They said he was a person from her. He uh, went to go visit his siblings. He found his newfound siblings. And he <laughs> went to Texas on June the 6th. And he was supposed to return back to St. Louis for his birthday on June the 10th. But never made it. And they found his body, I think, a day or two ago. So what do y'all think about this story? Backstory, Ricky. <laughs> I'm paying attention. <laughs> Stacy, go ahead. You got know you know you keep hold on, wait a minute. Backstory Ricky back. I'm sorry, I was over here listening to my teenager lie about some old shit. No, what y'all say? You talk about the Jarvis McIntyre story. I know you backstory. Ricky. I don't know nothing about this shit. Not Me neither. I've never heard of this. I don't even yeah. know who the fuck that is. First off, it's people that hey, hey, don't be disrespectful. All right. I know. When you get done, I still don't know who the fuck that is. Who raised this nigga? Stacy. 
So he's from St. Louis, you guys. He had um, just found siblings that um, he, um, yeah, he had found this like newfound siblings in Texas, okay? So he went to go see them, um, meet up with them and everything. And then he got killed uh, in the process. Uh, his mother was expecting him back home for his birthday, June 10th. Um, he was there like June 6th. But in the process, uh, someone killed him. He also was a, a gay male. I mean, gay. Yeah. And I, I don't know if that was the reason they killed him or something. But they did say he made a um, 911 phone call like somebody was chasing him or something. So they're going to look further into that. But he was from Youth City. Um, and that's what happened from St. Louis, Missouri. And he's now deceased. Yeah. Hey, Nucci, you know about this? Nah, but uh, I don't like Texas. Fuck Texas. Texas don't like niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody be going to that. Bar. Yeah, but Texas don't like niggas. I travel way too much. You know what I'm saying? I done been to 34 motherfucking states. Texas ain't never liked me when I came down there. You know what I'm saying? Unless I was around niggas. You know what I'm saying? Texas don't like niggas. Even the Mexicans down there for real don't like niggas unless they fuck with niggas. You hear me? So Man, I don't know why people from here keep running down there like that motherfucker a second home to this bitch. Them motherfuckers can't stand Missourians. <laughs> period. Too. Missouri don't like black people either. No, but right. Texas America can't don't like black people. <laughs> that <laughs> part. <laughs> they said America don't like that black part. People. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But all Texas right. also don't like people from this state. If y'all remember back in the early 2000s when they transferred all them motherfucking niggas and shit from prisons up here because they was overpopulated, they sent them to Texas. All them niggas was getting killed. I ain't give a fuck how big or badass you was. They, they was killing them niggas. That's the reason why they got killed because they went to Texas. Not because them niggas was in gangs and shit. No, nah, they got killed because they was in Texas. This you ain't fucking right. right. And you come there, and they don't. Hey, we got, we got, we got, we got backstory in Texas Nucci now. Yeah, they're right, you know, but I'm just saying, man, <laughs> they don't like people, man. Texas versus this shit. Every time, listen, Missouri is gave us a whole motherfucking history lesson. Missouri is one of the most racist states there is. Hey, hey, who says it has to be something about racism? He went down there to see supposed siblings. Why can't it be the supposed siblings have lured him down on some other shit? Like but nah, Texas is just his own country. country Ooh, though. But if it wasn't the siblings, that's a terrible thing to put on them. We don't want to say that and we don't know that. What the fuck? Why would you want to just say it's on racism and you don't know that? I mean, it's better than blaming his family if they didn't do it. That's cruel. Hey, hey, we Jared, don't know hey. what happened. Oh, Jared, Jared said that. you got to pick your spots in Texas. <laughs> plenty of spaces for us here. Plenty of places you shouldn't be after dark too. I mean, we got those places in Missouri. It don't matter what you at. Hell, you shouldn't be in places in the daytime here. That don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but uh, rest in peace to that guy. Yeah, for real. Definitely. For sure. I ain't nobody really know about something. Okay, I take it back. I do know about this story. I just nah, know, I know about this motherfucker. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I've been reading on. You just looked it up. No, I didn't look it up. You see, I've been right here yelling at a damn teenager over here lying and shit. But well, actually, since she already had a turn, it's actually a close friend of my baby sisters, and um, they were actually thinking like it's maybe having something to do with the LGP too, maybe a hate crime or whatever. So. And um, just think about like black we, black men, especially just come whether gay or straight or is coming up missing in masses or whatever. So luckily his body did come up, but this stuff is scary. I think like more conspiracy thing. I think only he had a really huge following. When did you ever see like a black man on the news that he was missing like this ever? Yeah. One, I think it was because he's a letter person, um, which was a good thing. But I think that's the only reason his body came up because otherwise I think like his organs would have been chopped up into a thousand pieces if he didn't have a huge following and, um, a lot of you know the backing of that community raising awareness of him being gone so i think that's the only reason his body came up but i think it was some other stuff like all these other hundreds and hundreds of black people that are missing as well mm -hmm. just, when y'all hey, travel y'all gotta stop traveling wrong. by yourselves start yeah, traveling with a friend you need to start the start traveling with a motherfucker four five and nine millimeter ak-47 Man, I'm what the fuck? Yeah. You can't shoot all of them at once. <laughs> you better travel and, with and some that motherfucker sounds protection. Really, really great, Nucci, but one of the things is most of us learn how to use these things as adults. 
they've been using these things since they was four and five. So if it come down to you and Thomas in the woods, Thomas got one up on you. Yeah, that nigga know it. That nigga know what it is. You better know how to dodge your motherfucking BMW 535 while I'm shooting. All right, backstory. Go ahead and get those you got. It ain't no issue to get off. I just remember the story now that um y'all started talking about it. I just didn't know the name off the top of my head. Uh, I just thought that it was crazy and Point wild. the back story, whole... you both to know who named them. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. See, that's the problem. Y'all just think I be knowing the backstory. So everything. Ricky been busy lately. I ain't had social media time. Hey. Who raised you? You lied to say it. It happy day. Monday, yeah. Happy Monday. All right, uh, what about Happy Father's no. Day, though? Why you can't get Father's no Day over Father's with? We ain't think you're not in the group. Crazy, man. Happy belated yeah, Father's I Day, Louie, because you're not in the group. All right, uh, I put it on Facebook. I was the first one in real. Which so y'all nigga you would have me Father's Day? So, sorry, Louie, you missed it. Man, don't get no I also. I also didn't know about the story, but I do want to say rest in peace to the young man. If he wasn't bothering anybody and didn't do anything, he should not be deceased, letter people or not. But I do want to say we need to start traveling in groups. If you was going to see your family, you should have stayed with your family and had them take you back to the airport. We got to be safe, y'all, because like Tone said, for real, they don't like us here. They brought us here. We built this mofo. But they don't want us here. I don't know about the girl that went to Jamaica, down there in Cancun, Mexico, with her friends. So prevalent in groups ain't always the answer. Make sure that your friends for real. Don't be knowing, knowing, soldier. Talk. That's what happened to the girl that ended up in the freezer. Prevalent in groups ain't the answer. Yes, some people, some of them were already here. I want to see y'all doing the ancestry though. But yeah, we we hail from Africa too. Don't play. They got all these artifacts. There, is, there has not been one, one solid evidence of a ship, a slave ship. Period. They ain't got no evidence of this and that one. And I'm telling you, yeah, that that it, it, it may be the crazy thing a person, the crazy thing a person could do to you is give you your truth, give you make your you not truth believe your history. truth, Bad. and make you not believe it because like I, a lot of us just don't believe the shit that that's not actually every our black truth person because, came from the United States. I want to see y'all DNA ancestry. Let me sh- show not me that y'all have never no money hey, from look. Africa. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> Hey, yeah, look, look, look. Hey, 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 so we were talking about this ancestry. DNA ancestry thing yesterday. So you want me to pay these people to give them <laughs> my DNA? Who, man, so they can put you can do black owned companies. You can do black owned companies. You ain't got to go with the white owned companies. None of them. I'm not saying DNA. How did they get all these people DNA if they don't have no record of half the people that was here? Here in America, sure, but I'm not saying you going to test over there. You don't know what you're saying. Because you ordered that shit off Amazon, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man, hey, for real, talk that shit. We get out. We had no money for the birth certificates back then. How the fuck do you know that's my people? They ain't have birth certificates. We get out. It's called DNA. Now now you sound crazy. Hey, Louis, your tone. Did y'all want to talk about this? If if, if it's called, how is it called? Then how you gonna find? He asked if you you want to talk about this question. You want to talk about about George McIntyre? What's about the topic? (laughs) What the hell? Yeah, all I'm gonna say is uh. I, you know, may that whatever that situation was, man. I, you know, I, I send my condolences from the show to that family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, anytime a situation like that come up, you know, where people can't find their people, you know what I mean? It's it's gonna be hard. I I don't personally know about you know the situation, but that's just hard to hear that anybody just come up missing because they they went to go see their family or whatever the situation. That's, crazy. that's why you gotta be careful when you drinking and. Smoking yep. and you going out of town doing stuff because you just don't know who you can trust or who trustworthy. You you know somebody can put something in your drink. Somebody could you know anything. You just don't know. You know. Right. All right. Uh, we got to this next topic. Yeah. The next topic it says the military draft is back. The House passes a bill to automatically register young men and women between the ages of eighteen to twenty six for the draft. Tara, what you think about this? Um, because I have two sons, this and, and even now, if they haven't added women yet, but there are discussions to do so, this scares me. Like, all we're trying to do is, is stack up enough people to send to Israel to stack to overstack Israel so something jump off. None of this stuff is our fight. 
And so for you to come back and say, we're going to extend it two years. It used to be 18 to 24. And it used to be that you were supposed to do it yourself. Now upon your 18th birthday, you will automatically be put in. You ain't got to worry about figuring out how to do it no more or filling out the card no more. And let's think about adding women if we don't have enough viable options because young men may be in jail or have medical conditions or, you know, not be right in the head and all this other stuff. This is crazy. Like, this is crazy. We These kids don't want to go fight a war for a country that don't want them here. Don't do right by them. Not give them enough education and just to send them to go get killed. They're not trained for it. They're not ready for it. And when our vets come back, they are shattered in pieces, broken um, from what they, they were when they left. If they come back home. Some of them come home in a pine box. So I'm totally against this. And I hope it doesn't go any further than this. And I hope that when they start talking about bringing the draft back, somebody has common sense enough to go, no. If they don't want to volunteer and they don't want any part, leave them be. Man, this, this nigga Chris Bowles is stupid. This nigga said the military bought the draft a bunch of niggas with purses. <laughs> <laughs> he got a very valid point there. Absolutely. Marcia says, Marcia says, what the fuck? And Chris says, I tell my son to identify as a girl immediately. Your name Christy now. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, nigga. Instantly. Hey, Marcia said this is not a good idea at all. What you think, Tab? Uh, she just funny. I'm here. No, I think it's sad. I don't think it should be made to do that. That's ridiculous. They should they should have volunteer first or whatever or some shit. I don't know. This is terrible. I was just talking about this earlier, but I don't think it's going to like pass. I hope like when it goes up like the next level, it'll get kicked out. But I'm really afraid for like our black men for this. Right. I'm more scared than anything. All right, Louis. All I ask is y'all have have a patience with me for one second, right? I ask y'all. Hey, look, big man. This is this is my lane, right? Okay. Um, this is why we need to get more acclimated into criminal justice reform because all of this stuff ties in with <clears throat> how you're trying to criminalize our people. Now we all know who this going fall back on when everything passed but see what they do is with this entertainment and this media they busy the people and people passing laws and letting laws be passed that we don't necessarily know about and then we didn't allow these laws to pass by and then we bind it to it we used to we used to ostracize the draft back you know what i'm saying like that was the thing that we got rid of because it was bad for our people and now they they demonstrating this back like that that mean that we gonna get chosen first our kids and, and nephews and nieces gonna get chosen first so it's something that we can do man we can go and and, and petition these things these are things that we can go and petition and i want to let y'all know coming soon is intellect matter man i'm putting that together for for petitions for this type of stuff right here man because this right here is crazy man this setting us back we need to fight and stand on this man we need to be firm against this that's all i got to say man Right. All right, Nucci. Nucci too hard to understand. Man, if they pull this shit the fuck off, if they pull this shit the fuck off, I know some young niggas who gonna go over there and start shooting their own motherfucking military people. Shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, they related to you. They gonna, <laughs> a couple of them might be. You know what I'm saying? Shit, but they gonna turn the fuck around on your ass because they not doing this. You know what I'm saying? And shit, uh, they don't understand. These little niggas are already out here at war in their own neighborhoods and they don't want to fucking deal with that shit. Most of these motherfuckers don't want to deal with that shit. So you think they finna go fight the white man's war over land and shit that you trying to take from motherfuckers that should have been ours? All right. Now, yeah, says, uh, yeah, I don't think it's right. And Jared said, it's crazy that there are a lot of people that didn't realize that it's been mandatory for a long time. It's a felony for men not to register. This just uh, makes it automatic and adds women. All right, Tom, what you think? I didn't think it added women yet. Yeah, it has. It. Hey. Yeah, it has and that's not right. Hey, I'm with, I'm with, uh, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Flanagan. Um, but Flanagan wrong. <laughs> he put but that nah, wrong you no, nah, no, it's like you no, like you supposed to register. Wrong. Supposed, I better hold all that down. No, nah, that yeah, like you supposed to register to do this shit anyway. Like you're supposed to register any fucking way. 
Like straight up to where this thing is. The thing is, the thing is, it ain't it ain't y'all like y'all making it. It's like I understand y'all point. I really do. But it's I think it's more so because people ain't signing up to go to the military how they was at first. Like motherfuckers mm -hmm. are not like volunteering. Like, Bro, they, why like, would they though? Exactly. Man, hey, 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 Louis, hey, hey, oh, my mom, hey, look, bro, I feel you. The same <laughs> reason niggas will die for a street that they don't own. The same, the mm -hmm. same way niggas go to war with each other on the fucking streets. I, I can't, I can't, I can't get with, uh, don't go and fight for something else when you, we fight for dumb shit every day. But people living so, on so the reform, the, so, the, so the reform, the reform for, for <clears throat> us has to start with us before we address how other people handle us. We need to handle us better. That's why. But that's I why think, I started in with that. I don't think that you like, understand. I don't think that you see the move that they making. They playing chess, man. While while people thinking in checkers, they playing chess. And what's going to end up happening? Regardless, of, I hear what you're saying. We we I hear everything you're saying. But they playing chess with us, man. And before you know it. We, we ain't gonna realize it until we need deep in it. You hey, bro, look, like, look, this how this how cold they are with their chess. They play chess so fucking well with us. They ain't even gotta move their pieces no more. We moving for them. That's my point. Woo, We're just you we, better talk we, that talk. That that we was killing right ourselves, bro. So before we talk about how someone had like it's like yo, if, if I come to your house right and I throw a cigarette butt on your floor, you gonna be like, man, what the, what the fuck is you doing, right? You go demand that respect. So, so you're demanding respect. So, but you, as, can't, as a but race. you can't, but you can't justify that. It's like if I if I fight my brother, if I fight my brother, that's one thing. But I'm not finna let no stranger, somebody outside of this circle, somebody outside of this family, come and demonstrate like that. It's at some point we gotta come together. We gotta stick together. See, that's the problem. Everybody feel defeated before we even able to come to unify and say we gonna stand up again. Brother, we can be, I, I just, I we just can said that we need to, we need to fix that. ourselves. Huh? We do. We I do need to, fix, we need to fix ourselves. I can't hear That's what I just said. I, I just said that we need to fix ourselves. Those are my point. We need to handle like like you say. You got to fight for your brother or my mom. We we but we mean like if like me and you got to come to that understanding before we allow something else. Before we if we go try to fight in the state that we are now, everybody gonna be too independent to even listen to each other and, and, and move with each other because everybody want to prove so, a certain role. We're already whatever. there, Tom. That's exactly how we are right now. That's what, but that's my point, Trevor. That's my point. I feel it. I agree with you 100. percent Like that's All my right. point. Like we 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 fucked up as a people. So I don't give a fuck. I understand the, the systematic racism. I understand all that shit. I truly do. But like at a point, it's like now we got knowledge at the tip of our fucking fingers. So we can't. We got to change. You can't just be like, oh, I'm a king. I'm a queen. I'm a black goddess. I'm an African god. You can't do none of this shit without the responsibility that come with it. All right, Stacy. Hold on, before you go, Ross says, Yizzo, what's popping? <laughs> go ahead, Stacy. Yizzo? So this is, <laughs> this is, is that some new Let me take you off the screen. Hi. It's yeah, a Philly right. thing. Look, look, this has already been a, a thing, so this is not new. I think the thing is they're adding the females or whatever, but I definitely agree with Tom. Boom, the third, the three, or whatever. <laughs> 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 the third, this nigga, oh, the, the third, third is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, let me get it right because I don't feel like it tonight. So, look, y'all, <laughs> hey, look, the crazy thing you ain't even got to say the three, you just got to spell it right. <laughs> right. <laughs> look, this is probably been a thing, and I do agree with him. Um, yeah, I, and like he said, look, we out here fighting a war in the streets, you know. So, hey, what, what's the difference, you know? Um, I think because a lot of people are not um, signing up to volunteer, um, it's just like, hey, let me let us do something like this, you know? Let's uh, reinforce it, pretty much. So, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, my son is past the age, so um, I'm thinking about my nephews and things, but I don't know. They out here in the streets, um, you know, and you think Niggas walk around people. with big ass Dracos. But like seriously though, when they draft these people that's that I be seeing at the gas station, they don't want them. They are not <laughs> and that's, and that's, that's, rifles. And that's what I was And that's what I was serious. And that's what I was didn't think this through right. And that's nah, what I'm telling you. Them niggas gonna go in there shooting each other. They're gonna shoot everybody up in that motherfucker. This is 
That's Rock hella fucking funny. That's, 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 that's like what big. I was trying to say, too. Like, like, that motherfucker that, oh, the no, it's Stacey Turn. Nucci, hi, Nucci, Nucci, hi. I'm still talking. So that's what I was going to say, too. They do um, do um, a test. They evaluate or whatever. So a lot of them people ain't going to pass no way. They going to feel like they crazy anyway. <laughs> well, exactly. Or maybe they will take the crazy people. I don't know. So that's all. That's all I, I know some crazy people know how to pass tests. <laughs> They ain't gonna want to pass that one. <laughs> I, uh, they might want to get their hand on that gun. Hey, boy, you see, you see what they doing in school now? They gonna let them niggas pass. Hey, Ross said, "Don't start." He said, "Don't start your shit tab." But go ahead, Ricky. <laughs> Everybody pretty much already said it. This is a dumbass thing to try to store. These eighteen to twenty-six year olds is not where it's at. Because if you just sending them motherfuckers on the front line, then we all fucked. Oh. Hey, hey, let, hey, hey, let them let oh. we don't need them going no older. They gonna draft. I them. understand that, but I'm just saying if that's our first line of defense, we're fucked. These you gonna have are. all the pussy boys out there. These yeah, motherfuckers he, ain't finna fuck shit. Damn, up. Ricky, you would cut your hair off again. <laughs> you could cut your hair off. And you wear glasses now. <laughs> Oh I do wear glasses. I just don't be having them hoes on. Hey, they but, said uh, they, they gonna draft sexy red fans. <laughs> oh my god, that's hell. She gonna funny. be out there talking about her pussy and shit. We <laughs> fucked. <laughs> we fucked. We just trying to hump. Trying to hump. Did everybody go? Baby I was trying to go, but you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ricky. Go ahead, Ricky. Now, now I was just saying, like, we gonna be fucked if they put them out there first, because these eighteen to twenty-six year olds is dumb as fuck. Um, this whole draft thing, I understand it. I get it. People ain't signing up for the military. There's no incentive to sign up for this shit. Nothing that they present makes a motherfucker say, this is what I want to go do. Like, <laughs> not shit. Not and we be lying. Not the benefits, not the aftercare. Look, I can't even explain to you how horrible their health care is yes. for fucking veterans. I can't even explain yes. that. I can't even explain how we have more homeless veterans, people that went out there on the front line, over in Vietnam and all of this shit fighting, and they can't even get a fucking get loan a to, to, to live. Like, this yep. is crazy. Uh, Nothing that yep. they're presenting says, let me go sign up to do this shit because it's a benefit in it. Like, not shit. What free education and y'all still teaching us the wrong shit because you still can't right. get a job with the education after you get out. Okay. The mm -hmm. shit is stupid. Like none of this is going to help them. Like nothing. So I understand why people aren't signing up. Hey, five, four, three, two, one, I'm sorry, go in your room. Thank you. I understand why nobody's signing up for it. And I get that y'all need people to go out there and fight wholeheartedly. It's just not enough queer people to be on the front lines. They're not signing up for this, but yet they're the ones that carry the most guns. They have the most guns. Send them motherfuckers out there. Go Mar get Billy Bob Thornton them and send they ass out Billy there. Billy Bob Thornton? Mar Marcia right. said, preach Ricky. That's right. Baby, it's uh, Ricky with an eye, not a Y, but thank you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in wholeheartedness, like go up. get them. <laughs> <laughs> go get the people that it's actually want to go. Take the age gap out of it. This is how you're gonna no, limit take, yourself. Keep the age no, gap. I won't do that. I'm saying because I know, I know but, people who are mad because they can't become firefighters because of their age. You know, I'm saying it's the age gap. They said it is. <laughs> It's an age gap on everything for people that actually want to do it. Let the people that want to. But here's do the it, reason too. Don't do it. We're not even going. We're not even going for the reasons we tell these people. We are butting our nose in, going over there to get oil, going over there to get money. We are killing Americans to go and do every shady thing possible by lying, saying us. we're doing it for, to protect us. They are not protecting hey. us over there. They got nothing to do hey. with us. Hey, Ross says these youngers actually need the military. Trust and believe that gangster shit will change quickly as soon as they hit boot camp. They're not going to make uh, it through boot camp. That's the mm -hmm. issue. Uh, uh, Ross right. says, I'm working on my second degree and get a check monthly as a vet. Y'all looking at what drugs did after they got out, but it's actually nowhere near like it was in the 70s or 80s. And Per says, uh, you can't even get VA benefits and a lot of veterans are crazy and homeless. Okay, Ross. Not a 
the drugs are already on before they even go. So that's not the answer. I'm mad. I just know. Hey, and some, hey, some of them hey, do hey, drugs to try to forget what they've done when they've been over there, yeah. killing kings oh, and oh, women and stuff. You don't be right in your head when you come back. Bro. Hey, hey, no, hey, but look, so, but y'all saying all this shit about, like, black men 18 to 24, like, y'all got us fucked up. 18 they to 26. Great soldiers. What the fuck? They could be some great... If they're black trained, men, right, and if they can kids. mentally and emotionally pass the test, the sure. Like, like the what? like the white boys can only be soldiers. No, I now, don't we want them to be soldiers. We want them to be soldiers. We don't want our so boys going. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers yeah. crazy. <laughs> Um, I will let me say this before we move on. This is just a PSA, please. You guys, everybody keeps saying that the Republicans take the house, then we're going to get stuck with this. Understand if Joe Biden wins and dies because he's 797 years old, Kamala Harris will also enact this. Please don't think she will not check her record when she was a lawyer. And I also want to say this. There is a Kennedy running. RFK is running as an independent. Just check him out. Oh, Listen shit, to his podcast. Talk. Do not think that you are stuck only voting blue or red. This is very important, people. I'm tired of this shit. Seriously. Right, I'm an independent. Vote for your shit. heart, but they are not the only two. Real talk. She tired of this shit. I want to say well, that I said y'all looking at the few stuff. and assume that it's the most is what I'm saying to y'all. We're looking at yeah, the that, vast that's right, majority. Right, right, right. I mean, Paul. <laughs> I'm looking on the highways and on every corner and all these <laughs> and they are jacked up. So I don't know if it's the majority or not, but it's too damn many. To hey me. man, you gotta uh you gotta put some capital, you gotta make sure your name with capital and lowercase to let look like raw ass, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't it? Oh, my God. That's it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's short for raw assassin, but it's just raw assassin. No, 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 it's short for raw assassin. I think there's already no, a raw assassin. So he could out. <laughs> nah, he don't need to put that second S because then it's right. going to say ass ass. <laughs> raw ass ass. <laughs> it's going to say raw ass Raw ass ass. Why you gonna let you do that to him, Tom? Right. Can't call that man double ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs to just come up with a whole new name at this point. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let me go to this next time. Thank you. Woo! It says the U.S. has its first case of sexually transmitted ringworm. The case occurred what? from New York City <laughs> to England, Greece, and California. <laughs> New York to England, Greece, and California. Yeah. Oh Sexually hold transmitted up, ringworms. <laughs> Sexually wonder, transmitted wingworms. Uh, how do you feel if that's in you? Like, hey. from moving. Hey. <laughs> like hey. and the ringworm, like the ringworm, like a uh, oh like it's a fucking it's bug. a fungus. Oh my god, it's not a worm. It's, it's, it's a fungus. Yeah. No goddamn worm. It's like bug. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, I don't give a fuck. Man, they already got, they Stay already got the sexually transmitted ringworm. <laughs> hey, all these hey, hey, man, and, uh, herpes, and, all hey. that shit. That nigga That's Ross tripping. said, y'all lucky. He, he said, oh, hold on. Nah, that ain't the one. He said, y'all lucky I'm at work because I definitely would come cook all oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't saying like Ross. Like, 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 I ain't saying like, like, like a name like Ross. You ain't ass, ass. no. Nope. First said, I thought it was Ross. It's ass. Hey, hey. He's always been Ross. It's always been Ross. He thought it was Ross ass too. All right, tell me what you think about get a new name. What you think about this topic? <laughs> I, I think this is scary because they said it's drug resistant, which means that some of them are, are working, you know, antifungals are working for some people, but some people it's not. And I think, you know, they said they can be passed between animals and humans. Like, it's, just think about this. Every year is something new. It's all these different COVID strains. It's all this other crazy bird flu and swine flu. And it just seems like somebody's the in these labs. The cicadas? The, this, somebody's in these labs doing a lot of stuff and just unleashing everything that they can. Be careful, y'all. You go get tested. Use protection. This shit is gross. All right, Stacy. Stacy. 
I'm I'm good. That's why I got my roles and I got one person. I'm good. I'm not messing around. I'm good. But uh, I pray for y'all. Y'all, I don't know. I think they said the gay disease. or uh, That's what I read as well. Yeah, I, you can find, yeah. I don't know. They said that about HIV and we'll get in there. Yeah. That's because these gay men. Did you get it? These gay men are sleeping with women still. So if it is something that's prominent in their community, it can make its way to the heterosexual world very easily. So that's very, what I very easily. Download people and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna <come. laughs> Yo, Virgo partner. That's who said this shit. Oh so they gonna try, you know download brothers and what sisters or whoever gonna keep transmitting all the stuff. I just, mm. I just feel like y'all need to be careful and, and that's you know, wrap it up that part. All right, Ricky. All right, so Tara put this in the group earlier. You know, I had to go research. I asked every damn doctor that was there. And they were like, what the hell is going on? This is some lab grown shit. This is the same shit that happened with fucking HIV and monkeypox and all that yeah. bullshit. They always come out with it. I don't know why people be acting so surprised by all this shit that they keep mixing up. Y'all seen um contain um. Contagious, contagious. Yeah, whatever contagion. the fuck it is. One of the damn movies. Y'all know I'll break all about. of that. Yep, all, all of it. Y'all seen it. First off, I'm going to need y'all clear people to stop sleeping with fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Earth the fuck up for real, though. I'm being for real because a lot of this shit that be happening is shit that comes from fucking animals. And I'm not saying, like, just fucking animals. But y'all be doing that shit too, clear people. <laughs> From fucking animals. Leave the fucking animals oh alone. God. Let them be great. Y'all over here trying. Man, listen, the shit is disgusting. If you got green worms, that's why you got to be looking at people. They be like, nah, this is just a heat rash. Nah, bitch, that's some other shit. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. Like, nope. Mm -mm. Nah, listen. I have been not having none, not getting none. So listen, I'm telling it, y'all be great out there. <laughs> All right, Nucci. Donna, all this shit weird as fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, uh, this little people community, you know what I'm saying? They they think they can go fuck anything, man. That's what. It's not I'm, the letter people, it just be regular. I know, shit. Them, hey, it's regular people in that community too. They using that shit to do what the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That shit just a badge for them to go out here and do the fucked up right. ass shit they want to do. That, that you know? gay, they pan, they pansexuals. Exactly. So you hollering pansexual, your ass will fuck anything that got a one fucking dick or pussy between its legs. Anything. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Duh. Mm -mm. All right. Tone. Uh, all this shit is in the Bible. All this shit is in the Bible. Y'all better get right with God, cause this shit is wicked out here. Straight up, days of the last and people days. nasty and shit. <laughs> all right, that's it. <laughs> all right, Louis, <laughs> superstar Louis. Man, that's uh, that's, know, you know, you're a superstar, bro. You got shades in the crib. I'm talking to you. <laughs> man, <listen. laughs> this light, this light, right, too, man. I'm trying to get y'all some light because I'll be saying my light bad and shit. Um, but I, I, I feel like that, uh, I feel like it's a lot of stuff going on around here. If you into that weird stuff, man, if you be doing too much, you gotta. You got to know who you're doing, what you're doing with, and you got to be using protection. You got to be getting checked out. You got to be, be clean, too, man. A lot of that stuff comes with just being clean. Just take care of your, your high being, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. That's all I got to say to that, though. All right, Tab. My message for today was wash your ass. But I said it nice. I said Monday, Monday, and it's hot out, so wash it. <laughs> I just think it's gross, and no one better tell me they got ringworm on their private parts because that's gross. Because if you know ringworm look like, it's really look nasty. Mm -hmm. And if you have it down there, you just oh, don't be passing that. That's gross. How nasty. That's it. 
This is nasty. Because, like, where, where does it go on the girl? Is it in, like, it's in the girl? Oh. Like, she can't see that shit. So, how you not? Oh, know? that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's or, some, or ain't somebody booty canal? You can't see in your booty that's canal. So, what are we talking about? How do you know? Booty canal, though. Why did you say booty canal? Because that's what hey, I heard. Hey, 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 hey. But why do you so say the booty canal? Hey, hey, herpes was already scary. <laughs> herpes was already scary. People don't be having breakouts and they be walking out here like everything fine. Now you got wing worms. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see your my choice instantly, bitch. <laughs> Pull it up now. If you ain't got my choice in your phone, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Straight the fuck up. Something is wrong. Hey, Bitch, you ain't got my choice. All ringworms on their face. Ooh, imagine all that. All around their mouth and shit. Like a, like a uh, liar, liar, that dude that had that bump on his nose. And he just kept scratching. Yeah, <laughs> next one. You used to get ringworms just from playing in dirt. Uh, saying. Oh, uh, uh, well, well, it, 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 we want to so playing in dirt. So think about, so think about it. If this, if <laughs> ringworms came from dirt and sand, right? That means these ringworms come from dirty gooch. <laughs> <laughs> or dirty booty. Who raised these niggas? Let's go to this next topic. It says, dirty forest can. if you could recommend one must-visit stop in St. Louis, where would it be? The Lambert. Lambert. Oh, Don't leave Lambert. Tap always out. Tap always out. <laughs> but Lambert ain't in St. Louis. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Who God. said that? Who said Lambert? I said, don't leave Lambert. That's the, that's the destination you want to go oh, to no, here. The oh, the airport. airport. Yeah, Lambert. The airport. Go ahead. Yeah. You see the Virgos yeah. figure it out. We tight like this. No, I think everyone should visit our zoo. It's so amazing. And there's so much that I put into it. I had such a wonderful time. Yeah. The zoo by myself. Yeah. Did they finish the uh, other zoo? That's all. Like no, not that one. I, no, that, that, that would not like open the extensions that they have. Well, have you been? Have you? Have you, have they completed that one though? Because that's supposed to be amazing as well. They have it. Well, the they have some animals there. There's some zebras there now. Um, they're starting some breeding and things, but it's not open to the public. I didn't even know we had another zoo. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why they redid the endangered species wildlife in 63138. That's the reason why they redid uh 270. So what's gonna be so different about that one from the one we got now? It's like the endangered. You can okay, so you can drive through it. You can pet. You can feed and stuff like that. It's those little. They're trying to make it like the wild. Like a safari. Like a safari? Oh yeah. Are the lions gonna be roaming free? That's what we do. Docile animals. Do you know what that Uh, word means? The ones that don't bite you. Okay. All right. It's like literally like a sunset. (laughs) Listen, safari my ass. I ain't got time. All right, Stacy. Oh my god. Of course, I would say the arch. I mean, if you've never been here or whatever, like go in it that's the or just go look at it. it. Go up in it. Yep. That's dumb. Mm-mm, don't do that. If you fail, don't go up the arch. So I would, that's my place I would recommend. And um, driving through most of these states, I've seen them try to have a replica of uh, the arch. Yep. Yep, and it's crazy. So I that's why I say go visit our art. See the real thing. Cause them other ones are terrible. All right, Tara. <laughs> Bruh. Um, like a fire chop a Chinese place. Like I, I just I I hate to say this because I was born and raised here, but I don't really care for this city and I don't find a lot to be fun here. So I would just say take them somewhere to get us some amazing Chinese food because our Chinese food is better than China. Right. So that's about all I got. And, and me and Nathan was talking China. about that when we were out of town. Oh my God, everybody, Chinese food is so gross. I, I, yep. I told her I wasn't even finna try it. <laughs> Every city I'd have been to. Nope. All right. But what? You got the best at home. No place. All right, come back. We'll come back to your town. Right. I ain't even. I, I, it's her was talking. Okay, if you could recommend one must visit stop. Hey, uh, Google nah, Google. uh, there. Uh, there's no place I would suggest you go here. <laughs> Not one. I tried to find something, Tom. That's terrible, boy. Um, maybe. Um, um. Say emo. Like, if you're from out of town, if you're from out of town and you come coming here, you. I mean, like Stacy said, you got to be coming like for the arts or some shit. There ain't too much shit like here that's like. 
you know. Hold on, Tom. Have you been out the hood? Have I been a nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 uh, this nigga, this nigga, international soldier. Think, uh, nigga, have you been? Have you I mean, been you out the hood? One thing. Tom gave me that name, international soldier. Yeah, uh, he uh, said the arch uh, like Saint. Um, uh, go to Six Flags. Okay, that's better. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Tone. Okay. Oh, no. Nah, hey, go to Merrimack Cavern. Go to the cave. I love that, too. Yeah, you right. Yeah, go to the cave. And I yeah. always know that. Yes, I can that. Like that. That. And, uh, and even in Alton, though, where the two rivers meet. No, St. Louis. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Hey, I mean, it's, it's, the point, it's, it's the point on St. Louis side that you go and see the rivers meet. Oh, oh yeah. Your background. Somebody running water. Now that wasn't that wasn't me running no damn water. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, a place that I went to that nobody, I don't think nobody know about. I went when I was in college. I didn't even know we had this here. We have a, a Holocaust museum, and I got to talk with uh, one of like the last survivors. He still had the, like the number on his yeah. arm, his hand, and everything. It was crazy. I didn't know we had hey, that. Uh, Lacey, I got one on mine. Hell to the now. You ain't been a damn Holocaust survivor. You don't know my life. But you yeah, we, me. We, we, we definitely have <laughs> you, you are me. not a Holocaust you survivor. You just met me. You don't know if this is symbolizing my granddaddy, granddaddy could have did it. You don't know my life. That's disrespectful. Didn't you tell us that there was? I'm not even gonna go there with you. You show right. You it's show right. It's out there close to Creed Court. I'm checking out. But what about um, you? Do they do they have a, a, a some some African American stuff that we can send somebody to? Because see, the Holocaust people got their reparations and we did. So we got to go to Memphis. We got to go to Memphis. We got the. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we got. I don't think we got none here. Who raised this? All right, Louis. I feel like uh the the main the main person place I would say because I feel like it's it's a lot you can do, but I feel like main place. Is a uh, Forest Park, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like you coming coming from out of town or just anywhere, and you want to just get a like good vibration and just see like it's Forest Park dope. I feel like if you from out of town, you got uh, everybody gonna say the art, but you got the uh, the first, that big wheel downtown um, that you can see the whole city on top of. You know what I mean? You got uh, you got a rooftop, a lot of rooftop where you can see the whole city. You got, you got a lot, you got, you got some, you know what I mean? You got some stuff if you really like, you know what I'm saying, from out of town and you just looking to do some stuff. And then we got a nightlife too, like whether y'all like, you know, a lot of cities, they don't, they just might don't have a lot of, you know, clubs or they might not, they close at 12 or one o'clock, you know, we got clubs that stay up in the five or six o'clock in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So we don't, like, but Illinois do. Yeah, you know, you know. Why would you tell somebody to come here and go to one of our clubs? They right? almost guarantee you get shot. That's what a lot of people because come here. You go to Seattle, you don't play. Okay, Seattle, can I go? Hey, Ricky. They don't have Ricky, Ricky, they don't have Ricky you better not tell nobody to go to Kenlock. <laughs> what the fuck with <laughs> nigga? Ain't no Kenlock no more. Shit, Kenlock got three houses. Kenlock got right. three houses. <laughs> ain't no Kenlock no more. Oh, no, but I would tell them to go to City Museum because you can be in that motherfucker for hours having a fucking yeah. ball. Especially you got the magic house for the kids. Why, thank you, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> you bang, you bang, Louis, no turn this camera off, they Like, you know what? No camera. You turn my camera off before I say some shit that I'm going to regret. He was spending heavy with me. Don't you ever talk to me like that. I'll smack, smack. <laughs> I love Louis. Uh, no, but I really think that uh, you should go to the City Museum because it is a blast. You can get drunk as shit. They always got something going on there. It's a lot of adult parties that they throw there that a lot of people don't know about, and it be fun as fuck. I'm afraid of heights, so I hate City Museum. All right, well, new new Terry, you afraid of just about everything, so just stay in the house. I was thinking that. I like that idea. It. Thank you very much. Nucci by Nucci gonna be like shit. Yeah, I should come uh, to my crib. Nucci gonna say like, come to my house. Come to my crib road, and get Luke. high. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I make you some chicken and waffles. Uh, yeah, for real. For real. I I I I send a motherfucker to do the fly over the city, do the helicopter ride since they doing that again. Um that's fun as shit. Uh also rent that get on that motherfucking riverboat cruise and get on that bitch and party. You know what I'm saying? 
That motherfucker fun as shit. Uh, you know in the Mississippi? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't think that y'all oh, understood yeah. the question because it just said one because y'all be going like 15. Like, just hey, one. Look, it's a lot of shit. Y'all please, ain't y'all, please stay away from the Mississippi smoke. River. That's the y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what this city is about for real. Like, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I know a lot of shit that I don't yeah. think. I tell them and I'm proud. Run them out. Louis, just one. I mean, I'm sorry, not you, Louis. Go Louis. check out our music. Louis, I don't care Louis. about that. Yeah, look, your expression was hell long. Shut up. <laughs> Man. Go check out our motherfucking music scene and shit, because nigga, music wouldn't be what Trash. the fuck it is today. Black music would not be what it is today if it wasn't for St. Louis. Make sure y'all check Louis. out no night. No, 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 and check out motherfucking me, Scott Joplin crib and shit, where the fuck he was and see what the fuck he was about. Talk That's that the motherfucker who opened up the door for all black musicians today. Talk that shit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker from right here in St. Louis. So they should just go visit That's Scott Joplin house. Got it. Road, right here in St. Louis. I would agree with that if, with every genre except hip hop. No, I ain't saying that. We still got a motherfucker who changed hip hop. Talk that shit. When they right, we believe you, Nucci, know. but that's not what we talking Nelly about. Got all these Get niggas in the back. And everybody run around here talking about her and it's hot out. Years, this city has pioneered music. They need to go learn something about St. Louis for real. Make yeah, go to Blueberry Hill. Make sure y'all check really? out no, no Nike on all streaming platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on all streaming platforms? No. Uh, no. <laughs> That's, that's, new, that's, that's new. That's new. That's right there. That's new. Yeah, you know. Seven, don't do that because you know it was shade. I and if did you, not. If that if that was not shade, then you have it in your DNA at this point. Because baby, I know, you don't play. I do. <laughs> All right. The first, the next topic, <laughs> Nucci. I'm gonna let you take this. It says, "Why do men have to pay more to get in the club and or expect it to buy oh, all the drinks?" God, why? Yeah, Boy, this the broke ass nigga question. Yeah, Nucci, Thank you, Tom. Damn. <laughs> look, look though, look though. Uh. <laughs> Did you have a hard time? <laughs> nah, for real. Look, look. Nah, this this the thing about it. Uh, men do get charged more for shit. You know what I'm saying? And in a lot of instances, not just this club shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, at the club, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you got to expect it. You know what I'm saying? That shit, because they know the men only come in there to see the women. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to flood it with the women so the men come and spend money. That's the whole purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, so the women ain't coming to see the man. You say what? The women ain't coming to see the man. Fuck no, nah. women coming. They're to coming drink. to be seen by the men. Women, and then they women get their drinks and 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 get in for free. You know what I'm saying? The the man is a motherfucking bonus if they find a nigga they like today, because motherfuckers don't like niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the nigga, the man a bonus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and shit. So they really come in, like I said, for the free shit. They know motherfuckers gonna be up there trying to cake their asses up all night. If they come in there with that right thing on, looking good enough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it is what it is. That's just what it is. Shit. Uh, women bring the motherfucking men out who spend the money. Right. I'm in entertainment. I know that shit. It's just what it is. Backstory, Ricky. There she gone. Tom Bone. Uh, I I don't even want to answer this shit. This shit's stupid. It sound like a nigga. That's, I mean, because if you don't like the price, nigga don't go. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, why well, I got to pay more to get in the club, nigga? Yeah, my mom, imagine that conversation with your partner. The nigga say, hey, cuz, hey, this fucked up. We got to pay more. Get your broke ass away from me. That's a broke nigga. I love it. Oh, shit. All right, Sam. Oh, shit. They, the men answered this, and they answered it correctly, both of them. Okay. Stacy. Hmm. 
the the men should be paying for themselves and the ladies. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, now you're doing too much. <laughs> All right. I was with you at first. Now you're doing too much. That part. Look. Now you push me. Now you push me. Y'all, y'all know I be, you know what I'm saying. Oh, no, you hey, better go before no 10 o'clock. No sympathy say. for the men. No sympathy for the men. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why they have a problem with it. Just pay. Just pay. Get used to paying. That part. <laughs> Tara. Um, I I agree with you know what's been said here. Here's the thing for me: more women are going to come out, which is going to drive the men. Men are supposed to be those who protect and provide, so you shouldn't have a problem with buying a drink. Man, it's like you a but you get to act. I'm, I'm talking. Thank you. You're gonna come up there and see a plethora of you women and right. have your choice. I my shit is right. You gonna come up there and you gonna see a plethora of women and have your choice. For, for the price of a drink, maybe. If you even spend money to own, own any of the chicks, you might not like none of them. But you get to have a good time. You get to dance. I just think, like, how would it sound for real, for real, if you just, if you charge the women more? Like, does that, I don't understand these new breed of dudes that cry about every single thing. I feel like most of these men want to still say they're men, but be treated like women. They want to be chased. They, they want the women like to propose. Bitches, don't they? Right. They want the women to propose. They want all of these things, but she better not have no masculine energy. She better do all the things that a man traditionally did, but she still better somehow be feminine. The same type of dude that will be crying about the same type of dude who will be crying about why he got to pay to get in the club more than a woman is the same one that want that woman to propose to him. A weak dude. Oh, that's that's just a bitch ass nigga. All right, Ricky. Super Ricky, bitch Ricky. ass nigga. Okay. Um, I don't know because I'm a lady, so I ain't never had to pay. But um. I don't know. Like that's a, actually people who make the price of shit. This Tara, is just how it is. Go before motherfucking ten p.m. Tara. like she's supposed to. Mm-hmm. This is Tara. just you this are is just hilarious. Like, this is just how it is. I don't know. I saw it. I don't. I don't. I don't have to pay. So I don't know. I don't. I don't pay. Who raised these niggas? All right. I don't. I don't know the answer to this. Like I don't know. Dudes just be dudes. Like this just it is what it is. Like I don't know. All right, we're gonna go to this uh, video. This is from Nucci. <laughs> My kids, so they heard something. What the hell going on? Y'all all right? Hey, what the hell going on? What going on? Y'all all right? Who did, man? Everything straight? I put the motor in them. What going on, man? What the hell, I'm the in the car. Oh shit! Hey man, what the hell? Y'all straight? Oh shit! What the fuck, bro? What the hell? Oh! Oh god! Damn! What the hell? So yes. can I go I first? Make sure everyone can read yes. it. He right. caught his girlfriend right. cheating at a motel, right? He caught his girlfriend at the motel in the car with another nigga. So can I go first? Yeah, Ricky. This is old as fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is this this is an old ass video. Like, I think this shit like fucking nine years ago. Like this is old as fuck. I don't think the dude was wrong. But he is gonna go to jail for damaging her property, regardless of the fact. <laughs> what he just I'm done? Now she's gonna, 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 gonna be driving jail. his truck because he's going to jail, dumbass. Like, is the coochie worth it? <laughs> I do not agree on work, no girl. level. Oh shit! Damn, hold on. <laughs> My bad. I do not agree on no level. Shit. I don't agree on no level with what she did. I don't know the just of why they were in the hotel parking lot. You know, I'm just going to Oh, I'm pretty sure that. we know why they was in the hotel parking lot. I don't know. I don't know. She might have been an insurance agent and that's where she had to be. <laughs> he might have been living at a hotel. I don't that know. Was I wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude. I'm not giving her the benefit of the doubt, but I'm saying he was not wrong. Would I do some shit like that? Of course not. I'm not that kind of... Impulsive, because that was very impulsive. <laughs> Ricky, like I do some worse, motherfucker. I definitely would. 
Um, I'm very strategic in everything that I do. Um, oh my God. Really wholeheartedly, I am. Because um, motherfuckers think they got that off. I'm like, you thought you got that off, but I take it to the max. With that being said, I do not condone it. Not one bit. I'm glad he didn't put his hands on her. He snatched that motor out and left that bitch there, and then he got locked up and went to jail. And then her dumb ass went and bonded him out. So that's that toxicity shit that these people be doing that. Because what was the purpose in doing all of that? You went to jail, she came and bonded your dumb ass out, and now y'all back together doing the same shit over again. But, but she's he, not driving he, he, no he, niggas he around in that put, car with that engine he put in there, She needed to put the motor back in the car, so she needed to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Uh, go ahead, Stacey. <laughs> what was your thoughts on that video? That's some shit Stacey you do. Hell, hell no. I don't... Hey. Y'all don't know me for real, for real. Like, <laughs> like that's stupid to me, y'all. I I get even, but shit, not like that. You you gonna feel you gonna feel the wrath of what I do. You gonna remember that? Oh, I don't fucked up. That's how you gonna remember the shit. But no, I don't. I wouldn't do that shit. That's stupid. Yeah, I figure it out though. <laughs> but what do I think about that? I think he does. I mean, she deserve it. But it's it's crazy because like Ricky said, she got him out of jail and all that. That's so stupid to me. Like why play games? Like y'all get over it. Life's too short and it's yeah. So I don't know if she's younger or what's going on, but maybe back in the day I, I probably would have been playing a little crazy, stupid games or whatever. But that's stupid. Yeah. Right. I don't understand what was the purpose in it though. <laughs> he said he put that boat. I bought this motherfucker boat. Well, yeah, he paid, he paid for the motor to be replaced in the car. Right, right she not right, driving right. around with her nigga in that car. That's that was. Who <laughs> oh, you say, Lacey? Sarah. Um. Okay, so here's my thing. It's it's cool to laugh and joke about some of this stuff sometimes, but this it, these these dudes are killing these girls. Um. There was a story. I don't know if y'all all heard about it, but it was this man. He just got 14 years in prison instead of life because this is a white man. His wife was cheating on him for years. And he had like three hundred thousand dollars in his savings. She took it out and gave it to her side piece, and was and was looking right. to leave him and go with that dude. So he took his shotgun out while she was filming him. Tonight, you ain't gonna do it. I'm on social media. He shot her three times and murdered her for what right. she did to him. So what I'm trying to say to you, women, is a PSA. This right here, he you better be lucky. All he did was rip the motor out the car. Stop playing with people's emotions. If you don't want to be with somebody, don't be with them. Because they he could have came up there and shot both of them through their car. You don't know how a person is going to react to the trauma of you cheating on them. So why do it? Like, come on. Be better. Hey, Terry, you can break up with people and they just don't be getting it. So I'm not going to say that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All right, Tab. Um, I don't think I don't like Indian givers. You shouldn't give somebody something and take it back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because I like gifts and stuff. And I'm not gonna take and I'm a gifter. I'm not gonna take my stuff back. <laughs> That's pretty extreme. You know, take a whole motor out in the middle of the day. So <laughs> Mister. I want to rather him work. beat somebody up. <laughs> Don't take my stuff. <laughs> no. That's what he was saying to that dude. Don't take his stuff. God, Lee. You got to be. I just want to know why they just sat in the car and didn't do shit. Like, why they didn't pull off? <laughs> That's why I don't think that was I think they was in the, the car and they end. couldn't even move anymore. I think he backed up on the stuff. They just sat there. Who sits there? Go ahead, Tom. They, the they might have been unarmed. Soon. He might have been armed. Go ahead, Tom. Man, what the fuck? They could have the drive came off. Out, he got out the car. <laughs> <laughs> they could have drove off. Like, I don't know. Uh, that's, that, that is a bit extreme to pull a motor out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> hey that's some. <laughs> Hey, but that's the niggas y'all be loving, you hear me? Ah, uh, uh, hey, hey, if I was there watching this shit, I'd have been dying laughing like fuck up. Nah. The camera ain't making no better. If I was the nigga that she, if I was the nigga that, if I was the nigga that she was cheating with, I'd be like, you gotta handle that, baby. <laughs> you gotta, hey, I ain't got shit for you. Oh my god. All right, Nucci. 
Hey, look, that shit was funny as fuck to me because I was like, why was this nigga going so extreme in the first place? And, and he was hella mad. You know a nigga boy, mad when he's nigga. talking himself through the thing. Boy, that pussy was heaven to him. You heard me? <laughs> I paid for this motherfucking motor. I paid for that pussy was fucking <laughs> heaven, boy. Why y'all trying to act like dudes? Y'all can't handle y'all women cheating on y'all. Not some side hey, no, people. Y'all jail? Oh, hey, hey, y'all jail? No, no, no. I never got no, not, I'm not saying, I'm not never. saying that, you know, but I wouldn't have put no mode out no call. <laughs> no, I'm never going to go like, that what extreme. What the fuck? Yeah. You spent your whole last paycheck putting that mode in that car and she sending that car with another dude? What you going to do? I and then yeah, look, this nigga get out the car at the end. Like you sitting me. in the passenger seat and some. I mean, you sitting in the driver's seat and everything the whole time. You ain't trying to start off no nothing. Dip around that Boy. nigga truck. No none of that before he pulled up and blocked that bitch in. He wasn't even blocking it at first. Hey, hey, Nucci. She said you paid your whole last check. Woo! If I pay a whole <laughs> anything for a bitch, she play with me. She going to meet her maker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you talking about uh, pulling a motor out of the train? Murder is worse. Murder is worse, sir, than a motor pulling a motor out of the car. Over forty hours. <laughs> you don't kill me over forty hours. Yeah, man, <laughs> shit. Yeah, right, man. What, I yeah, got that. Right. I'll that's buy great. you your. I'll Play, buy your girl. time. Don't kill me. I got. I got. Nah, that's slave video. labor. Now you got, got to work for you like the man. I got the next video. Yeah. Hey. What we gonna eat? What's wrong with you? I'm good. What we gonna eat? What's wrong with you? Man, I just they just called me. One of my friends called and told me that my ex passed away. So. Okay, and. What you mean, and? I mean, and like. Why, then why would you see your sad? Because of that. Girl, it's died 15 minutes ago. So you had 15 minutes to do all the sad shit then before I got here? I didn't used to go with a girl. You can still go with her. Shit, you can go with her now. I ain't finna sit here and look at you sad because somebody you used to go with. Shit, you can go with her right now. Who got the body? Shit. Damn, I just lost a good friend of mine. Okay. You don't even care. I sure don't. Shit. Like I'm finna sit here and look at you sad because you just lost a good friend. I hope you lost your goddamn appetite too. But I'm finna go get me some to eat. Hey, that shit hella funny because that's Stacy all day. <laughs> you know what? That's funny because I thought it was you too. Yeah, it's about definitely gonna be me, but that's Stacy all fucking day. I can just see. He said like, you had fifteen minutes to say shit before I got here. <laughs> all right, Tara, what you? <laughs> hey, she cold blooded. She is cold blooded because listen, you that woman is if she was your cop when she was alive, which I don't think she was because clearly he hadn't been in contact with her. Why are you mad about this man more? Like people, like human lives matter to people. If she was a good friend and they broke up amicably, or even if they didn't, like if my ex husband died, I don't think I would cry, but I would sit down for a minute and understand that I did get some good things out of that marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like I have children. So I, I just, that's crazy to tell somebody they can't mourn somebody because they used to date them is really vicious. So I hope this was a skit, but y'all, let's not be jealous of the dead. That's super lame. All right, Ricky. I don't think that she was necessarily jealous of the dead, but like, nigga, you yeah. doing too much over your side, over an ex that you wasn't even in contact with. Like, he just sat there silently. What the fuck was too much? <laughs> I'm so nigga was moping. Oh my god. Okay, so she comes home from work. Get what we gonna eat? She like um, nothing. <laughs> nigga, what's wrong? Nothing. Then you like, oh well, yeah, my ex had died. Nigga, what? Right, these niggas. Then it went from his ex to a close friend. How is it a close friend if somebody else had to tell you? Y'all don't even like y'all ain't even in that kind of contact. <laughs> I'm not buying that McBoy shit. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be able to mourn. Nigga, mourn when I'm not around. That is so wild. That That's not crazy. wild. Triple the fuck up. I'm your wife now. Tear one. I'm right. your wife now. So if you still mourning over your exes, then you got unfinished business with them that you need to address. Yeah. When you can't yeah. address it now, they did. Exactly. So get the fuck <laughs> over it. He said you can go and meet him. 
<laughs> that lady listen. said you go up there with her. So she you said you can go with her now. That's true. Who got the body? Oh my god! Listen, all I'm saying is I understand where she was coming from. No. I'm not saying that she was wrong. I'm not saying that he was wrong. I'm saying I understand it on both sides. But listen, don't let me see the shit. I'm not saying that's like the episode of fucking Power. I just oh, lost man. the love of my life, Tasha. What? <laughs> Get it off, nigga. Titty, titty, bang, bang. Uh, all right, all right, Stacey. I'm your wife, nigga. I am the love of your life. What? No, mm -mm. absolutely not. All right, Stacey. So, <laughs> listen, I, I don't that know. Laugh is, it kind of depends on if it was the baby mama or something. Now your kids done lost the mama. Maybe so. Maybe I would care. But why the hell, like, for real, I'm coming home, there's nothing to eat and shit. What, why you moping? Why my food? Let's smoke with my food or something. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> like, I ain't got time. Don't play. Because that make me feel like your ass really ain't thought about her. What the fuck? Wait a minute. I'm here. Let's get that together. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that one. I probably will be... I give him a little time, but he can't spend that much time on that shit. You know, get over. She it. gave him fifteen minutes. <laughs> I mean, but that was fifteen minutes when, um, you know, he, she wasn't there, or whatever. I mean, I probably give you a little more time, but you better have me some food. We better go get some food, some. Like, hey, you know me now. That part. People, it out people here, only get five minutes to make it up to you. So I'm not trying to hear that you need 15 minutes to more. <laughs> and then I'm I'm gonna be thinking, damn, we making love. You thinking about her and shit, and she gone. I mean, what the hell? So you're gonna have me thinking about all kind of shit. So now wait, 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 let's get this shit together. Like for real though. Wait, I thought wait. I was crazy, but no, I'm pretty sane after this. This is what it is. <laughs> all right, uh, no, nah, you yeah. just a different type of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, Tam, before you go, hold on. Before you go, Flanagan did say let him see one tear. I did see that. I'm just not even. I'm, I'm not even. I'll address I that later. Wanna, I just wanted to reiterate that you said you had him fucked up while you over there talking about some. He can mourn. It's okay. Let me see one tear. Let me see one tear. Let me see, let me see tear one. That's hilarious. Mm -mm. Go ahead, Tabitha. Um, you're asking like, how would I feel if this happened? Yeah. I would, I would be glad that he was sharing those feelings with me, actually, because men hide so much. Like, I, for you to be that honest, and I know where your mood is really fucked up for, for you to actually have told me that was the reason he was fucked up, actually, I would be happy. Oh, my ex is dead, too, so we can toast to some shit, for real. Um, So, no, but seriously, I would actually be glad that he opened up and was able to tell me that, but I don't want to hear about her every day, but you can have that have that because if I love someone before and they die like it's shocking like more people I get sad for someone else that died so I would just be happy that I would be relieved that he was able to trust me with those feelings so that was a real adult answer but I just want to know I just want to know why it took all of them people to go find one of her exes and say well you know sir, uh, what the fuck I don't think it happened like that because I've experienced this with a friend like relationship like this happened and I know somebody was trying to go back and tell him in front of his wife that his ex had died in front of his wife or whatever so I pulled him to the side and like let him know that she died and he had a moment or whatever but he has allowed that moment or whatever but it's not like his whole world was upside down but well, then clearly his whole world was upside down by it because he sat in the fucking chair what are y'all so. talking he about down. he's probably you know he had a second Y'all be like a serial killers. Y'all be one of then if a nigga knock y'all side your head, y'all be like, he shouldn't hit me. Y'all because y'all deal with niggas that can't deal with their emotions. Let them get that shit out. And what he, he said was, well, he said she me. died 15 minutes ago. He said somebody just told him. So told she just died 15 minutes ago. He might have only known for 30 seconds. She just died no damn 15 minutes ago. Because ain't nobody like, let me go call her ex. And she just died. <laughs> <laughs> it's social media. It's text messages. We see stuff like that happen. That does happen. Okay, it so what the, 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 the shoe was on the police like 48 wanted, hours to tell you? Shit. All my exes are already well. dead, so the shoe can't be on the foot for me. Yeah, but then none of your exes are dead. What do you keep saying? They are yeah. dead. I'm to you, like, but not to reality. So, so you already tell me somebody dead, damn, but like, oh, dang, I thought they already was dead. Oh my god. You know, for the men, I want to know what if the shoe was on the other foot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how would you want us to? I ain't going to I just fucking stopped talking to people for talking shit about motherfuckers who are alive. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So disrespect a dead person is, and, and be motherfucking me insecure over a fucking dead person. That part. Right? You know what I'm saying? Be insecure right. over a dead motherfucker to me. Like that's that's the worst you can be. I'm leaving your ass instantly. <laughs> Instantly, I'm like this. I'm grabbing all my shit right then and there. I'm, I'm out the window. Talk that you shit. think you it's being insecure because somebody dead? You can't never compete with a dead motherfucker. They dead. Well, why would you be mad and not allow why them to mourn? This is crazy. Dead motherfucker, though. That's what I'm saying. They can mourn. Tabitha, I, ne- I mean, Tara, I never said they couldn't mourn. Right. I mean, they got 15 minutes, more than 15 minutes and not in front of you. Well, I, I just want my food. I just want my food. Somebody I, sadness. I, I just want my Most food and then go mourn. Mo- I don't care what you do after. Make sure my food there. You know what I'm saying? And you then you know, so tonight as a partner, this will be the time that you need to say, okay, then I'm gonna make sure we get something to eat. Hey, hey, do you know you right she did. Moment. She wanted got something to eat. She wanted got yeah, something to eat. She was cool. But I'm saying, mom, just do it on your own time. You know what I'm saying? I'll get my time, you know, right. whatever. People I don't know if I listen wholeheartedly. I don't think that I would be I don't think I would be able to comfort you from mourning an ex. I can't I comfort you. Do you sure Didn't nobody say you had to comfort the nigga. First you off, just that. don't threaten to send him to the mortuary you with him. Issues off. You gotta let a motherfucker deal with their feelings on shit. That's and just you like, can have that. You Lucy, had, I never said shit. he couldn't have that. I said just not in front of me because I can't help you. But with as this woman, why not you? Now if he go talk to the next bitch, you're gonna be like, why, why would you talk to her? Because Look, talk to give him some head. Give him some head so he feel better. You'll be mad at me when talk to this female bestie about it. If a person that if a person that you love died, I don't give a shit if they was an ex or whatever. You gonna wear them feelings on your motherfucking sleeve right there in front Please. of your nigga. You know Please. what I'm saying? So your nigga should be able to ladies, do the, the lady thing. you just said you was thirty minutes ago. Who's gonna wear their feelings on their sleeve about a fucking ex dying? I'm not. You said you was a lady. He said you would wear your feelings on your sleeve. Ladies do that. One of my exes exactly. died. I would not. Ladies do that. I would not. All right. Well, my, that's not? my case. Tabitha, how you gonna say that and you just said all your exes already dead? So you I can't mourn them. them. Uh, Tara, how long ago am I on my exes? That's what I already mourned. 48 hours. I've more, thank you. I, I'm consistent, boo. I did mourn them. They dead. 48 hours. I cry for all the niggas. But it's <laughs> over. All right, tone, tone, bone. This is a, a very interesting topic. <laughs> Um, I actually seen this and I started laughing at this shit. I did too. I'm so sorry. Um, but look, it was funny as fuck. I under I understand like both sides of the up. argument. I understand both sides of the argument, right? Like I truly understand like a person like looking at your person, be sad about another person, like dead or alive. It's gonna like it's still it's gonna have put something on your mind. Like regardless, like your person is in their body about somebody else. Like your person being in their body should bother you anyway, but the fact that, damn you, you, I can't even. I don't, do I let you cry on my shoulder because you crying about another nigga? It's like isn't it's everybody in their body? What the fuck are we talking about, girl? What the fuck? You just said that person be in their body. Like, <laughs> are you mean in I'm their saying, feelings? Is they're emotional. Is there emotional, emotional. I can't keep is up. There, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, old ass. Look. <laughs> I'd rather be my age and look like me than be your age and look 40,000. 40, Fuck 47. Thank you. Hey, Tara, I'm going to let you get that bullshit out because it wasn't funny. So, anyway, oh, a couple man. weeks ago, all of y'all said that y'all was mad that the lady had got a tattoo of her baby daddy to dad, but y'all show feel differently about this. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, hey, hey, it's not. It's- it's a hell of it's a, it's morning a hell of a morning. I'm all for letting everybody tears, do what they tears are not permanent. Tears are not hey, permanent. Hold on. Hey, what you be saying, Rick? Hey, hey, Tom Bone, you you ain't light skinned and you don't wear glasses and you ain't got no fucking curl. Hold up, hey, Tom, because hey, you ain't say nothing hey, with hey, Tabitha. Hey, you just hey, said something. You got me hold up, hold up. Up. my ass off. I don't know hold what you're talking about no more. Hey, Tab, what the hell is that? It's about a rapper, J Rock. Yeah, that's that's wrong. What up, wrong? Hey, nah, but look, I thought they were shorty low for a minute. <laughs> oh, I know it's let me see your real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap on it, always talking shit. <laughs> Duh, this is what we do. The fuck? Hey, hey, I, 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 I want to go one more time. 
I'm trying to be nice. Okay. Allow me to be nice. Well, come on. I now look. If my jug was tripping off a nigga, I truly don't know how I would take it, bro. And I definitely wouldn't be like trying to like be sad about my ex in front of my girl though. Like that's kind of like rude to me. Like I'm not finna be like she walk in and I'm just like moping. Like I'm straight. Like I'm visibly sad because the motherfucker died. That's like throwing a whole yeah. I could. I. Huh, it's, it's difficult, well, Tom, but I would. I, I would. It's a human being. Tom. Yeah. That died. Knows you. Don't they know your mood anyway? You can't fake it. They are still gonna know something wrong. You are gonna be like nothing. She knows something wrong. Yeah, you I'm gonna keep saying, but I her. say, girl, girl, I say nothing all the time. So they gonna just think it's regular me. Oh. Okay, Tom. Let me ask you a question. Cause you said over another nigga. What if it was her brother or her father? Is it just somebody she used to sleep with, or is what? it any dude? Yeah, I mean her brother, her father. That's that's family. You got even what the fuck? That's your people. But a nigga that used to be in you, no, no. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't. I ain't never been. I, I hope I don't ever be in a situation. Let me not say because the boy. I don't know. Like, I'm fucked up. I've been the <laughs> left. I hope I'll do it. And I'm a different kind of effed up because I don't care about nobody. We can sit here and cry forever. I'm gonna pat you on the back because if even if she was still alive, because I don't care. Nobody. She's not a threat to me anyway because I'm me. I'm not worried about and it. Tabitha, you were right. But Tabitha, oh, no, you were right. I, I look at it like that too. Tabitha real, was bro. right though. We say we want men to express themselves, and then we say, "Oh, but not in that case," and "Oh, but not in this case." Every case, I want to hear it. That's the one I'm really going. I hard never for. said that he couldn't express himself. Hey, I, 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 I didn't. I'm not, not in front of me. me. Specifically speaking, right, to a, you don't get that much time. Like, I don't care. Is, you, 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 you just said you got to get your food. I, yes, I, I just want to get the food and then go out or, or not a, around me. Like, give some time away from me. Go outside this so shit. So he was I literally, know. okay, let's look at the video. He was literally sitting at home, already home. She came in. What's wrong with you? She came in with an attitude. Let's be no. real about it. Whoever hit me, they might as well say goodbye. <laughs> Boy, Stacy say goodbye Deuces. to you every day. Deuces. 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 The day I get hit, it's over. Up in this <laughs> this nigga's stupid. Right. That boy stuck. said, oh my God. Hey y'all, the fact that Ricky said this is me all day long, literally, I'm gonna keep this real because I I'm joking and stuff, but I really do care about people's feelings. But like I was just really joking for real. Like I would care and I would want him to have his moment because I would want to have mine, y'all. But uh at the same time, but don't it don't it don't take like kind of do it away from me or it just depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> it kind of depends on how I'm feeling or something. I don't know. Because then, you know what, Stacey? No. I love the fact that you are very honest in your <laughs> answer. Because I'm going to think about like yeah, very you honest. The same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have your moment. But I'm going to think me. about it like, well, damn, did he love her more than me or something? I'm just saying what I'm going to do. You said all that to say the same I, damn thing you did. Exactly. I know. Like, but like, that's why I know you, you stand on that though. You spill it on. I do. I, I want him to get his moment. But damn, can we not do it around me or, or do she it just like you? You could have had that shit. 
together before I got home. Like for real. Like get it over it. Or, 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 or go, go outside and go get my food and think about it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, man. Next topic it says. What's better, a title or a commitment? What's the difference and what is more important? Oh, talk to shit. Damn, I'm going to let you take this one first. Oh, the commitment, I think, because cause I'm thinking about it like work. Because <laughs> I'm thinking of a commitment like a contract. I'm getting more of a bump up and pay with that. The title, I could just throw that around anywhere. I don't want the title. I want the commitment. It's more, it's more vested. It more comes with that. It seems uh, like because anybody people people call themselves doctors. Doctor Phil ain't a doctor. I don't give a hell about none of that. When he did the commitment with the school. He got that that certification with him. I want the commitment. Doctor Phil, not no doctor. No. <laughs> Where the hell Louis go? I don't know. Louis been gone. He, he oh, left because Ricky hurt Miss Mean to him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 He's tired of the rudeness. Okay, so um, I'm going to agree with what Tabitha said. To me, the commitment means more because you have people who get married. So you got the title of wife, but he cheat on you every day. What does that do for you? But if you give me the commitment, you say you're committed to me, I'm committed to you, and we're doing this thing. You know, because a lot of people say, hey, if I commit to you and you commit to me, we don't need the government to give us a license to give us permission to be this thing. So I, I prefer the commitment, too. I think the difference is title is just something that you're being called, you're being held. It doesn't mean anything if the person doesn't commit to you because you can have the title and still get cheated on still get beat up on still get left not have anything but if you have that commitment and that love then i think that means more and it's way more important than a title yes all right stacy some niggas be committed to beating women beating women <laughs> what kind of niggas what, why are we bringing them up what are you trying to tell us <laughs> that sounds like some shade. I don't know about. Nah, nah. It just, it, I don't know who we get. Uh, if, if if any of you niggas on this show whooping on women, I'm gonna fuck y'all up. Don't don't. Stacy blink. If so, nah. You got a good talk, soldier. Soldier, you blink. Okay. <laughs> now, look, look, y'all. Real talk. Just because I done talked about guitars and shit for real. Lacey is a stand up. Guy, for real, we've never fought. We argue, but never fought none of that. So it's we good. We good on that. So part. he made the title. I thought Tone beat women. <laughs> Did I beat women? Why would you think that? Because you said multiple times. You just said you were gonna send the girl to me, her maker. You said multiple times about knocking the female out for various yeah, yeah, things. You, you you said multiple times about killing the nigga. I don't know and I mean, are, like, but what 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 makes you think I be beating women? <laughs> That's a hey, that's a hell of a thing to say. You think you got the short man syndrome or something? That's a hell of a thing to say. Wait, 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 wait. So, we're not taking jokes now? Now, we now we in our body? Did I use it right in your body? You don't know how that triggered me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Tom. I take it back. Hey, you forgot the three. That part. (laughs) (laughs) You don't. <laughs> look, okay, look, look, look. Um, the commitment to me is really more important because the title is gonna come along with that for real. If people see you as a team and see they see y'all together, then that's all that's needed. Commitment is really a good thing, strong. It makes it yeah, makes the love stronger. That part. Love it. Ricky, pretty Ricky with these. It'll definitely be the commitment because my job is infamous for throwing titles around and motherfuckers that don't mean <laughs> shit. That's why my just, head immediately went to work. There's yes, titles just made stupid ass like titles of nothing. They just got titles of nothing. Oh, I know the no raise, titles, no, no nothing. nothing. Right, no raise, no nothing. Just more work and less pay. Like, no, bitch, you stupid. Yep. You just got a title of nothingness. And then they be letting the title go to their head. I'd be like, you Let know, you go. still do the same shit, right? Okay, I said, why would they hire somebody else when they can pay you the same thing to do twice as much work? You's the dummy. They be like, Ricky, why you ain't being a team player? Because, bitch, you don't pay me for that. I, I'll do what y'all pay me to do. That's it. Uh, but, yes, it would definitely be the commitment because a title don't mean shit. Anybody can call themselves anything. We see this on social media every day. I identify as. Exactly. Like, nobody, you're still a nigga. 
Hey, did the fire's way. No, no, still Jerome. All right, new you what about this? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. commitment me all day. No. All right, Nucci. No, nah, uh definitely commitment. Commitment leads to uh faithfulness, loyalty, monogamy, you know what I'm saying, and to everything else that you want. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker truly committed to what y'all are trying to build. All right. Tom Bowen. Oh. Uh, what, 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 what? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you got ADD or something? I think I'm fool, bro. Listen. Man, we need to. We need to <laughs> hey, Flanagan, take her to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is. This motherfucker. Shut up and answer hey, the question. Hey, hey, your, hey, your head looked like you wore a, 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 a helmet at school. No, don't do that. Because I know you see your head. Don't do that. Answer the question, please. Thanks. You just, you a self proclaimed, uh, proclaimed pterodactyl. So shut the fuck up and answer the oh, question. Oh, it's because that's because my head's so little, though. <laughs> Your shit, like, like, like. That's because I'm smarter than you, motherfucker, and I answer the question. That is not that than me. Oh, my God. It's puffy because you got herb there. Focus, little <laughs> man. <laughs> Hey, 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 Stacey, I know where I'm fucked up, but that's why I can identify it. This is crazy. I, I, so what was the question? Commitment? Uh -oh. <laughs> Which one is more important? A title or commitment? Uh, hey, now, um, you okay? How about oh, commitment to God. how about commitment to whatever title you want to have? <laughs> like like if you like commit to the title that you want to have with me. Like if you wanna if you wanna be wife, if you wanna be brother, if you wanna be sister, commit to being a good wife, brother, sister, whatever you wanna be. Um because I mean I don't wanna commit to you and you ain't giving me no fucking title. Like, no. So I won't go. I, I just said I just said the uh title comes will come along with the commitment. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. So what Stacy said, that part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let me go to this last topic, man. It says your 12-year-old son comes home crying because stepmom spanked him. You go confront her and find out your son got caught with cannabis. The stepmom tried to talk to him, but the kid said, bitch, you ain't my mom. And that's why she spanked him. What do you do? We going to dinner. Go ahead, Tara. I'll go ahead, Tara. Um, I, I said that jokingly. Listen, uh, he has a whole father that, that helped me create him. So the whole spanking of my son, I need to know where the dad was and why he wasn't the one to discipline him. Now, I like to have... Um, intelligent and emotionally sound relationships so we should have already had that conversation and you should know if you could discipline my child physically or not but some people will beat the hell out your child even though he did say that with a belt and extension cord like there has to be rules and safety for the kid but in my mind yeah i'm going over there and i'm saying you know what this is the only thing i would have asked that you call me and let me know so that my son didn't come home and tell me that give me a heads up hey this is what this is what happened i told his little ass up i need you to come and get him and I would like to think that I would be able to emotionally handle that because I'm going to beat his ass too. You don't talk to people like that. And what you doing with weed at 12 years old? <laughs> but just don't let my son be the one to come home and tell me that because I'm going to come to your house on a different type of time because you didn't give me the heads up. All right, Lucy. Can I go? Go ahead, Rick. Okay. Um, I'm not calling you to tell you shit that goes on in my house. I don't care if your kid there or not. With that being said. You're ignorant. Not at all. Um, you're not going to call me and tell me everything that goes on, regardless of if we're co-parenting or not. If I am married to your child's father and your child father is giving me that right, I am not going to do anything. I'm not going to wait on your daddy to come home because you called me a bitch. Now, wholeheartedly, I probably just put your son out and tell you to figure it the fuck out from there. That way, I ain't got no issues. I ain't going to put my son out my shit. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying though. So I don't, I just wish we didn't have that. What is it to stop and call her and say, This is what happened? So when your son come home, he's gonna tell you his side. Let me just let you know. That's, Why? For, that's, for, that's for his daddy to do. So y'all can talk about this. Oh, so, you can be. You so, but it's not for his daddy to be his ass. How do you sound? Did you just hear what I said? No. That's the problem. No, I didn't hear what you said. It don't make no sense. Home. I can I beat him, but I don't have to call you and tell you. But when it comes to telling I, I you, you that daddy to do that, I mean, well, you, he said spank. And the thing said spank, mean? girl. You're talking about some yeah. beef. You get, that's some light skin shit to do. <laughs> Oh, you just switched up shit that we just said even, so many times. Shut the fuck up, like for real. Who you talking to? I didn't say that I was I'm talking. talking to I said I would put your child out. Therefore, I, I didn't put my hands on your child. Period. I agree with that. So then you're still going to complain, like, why would you do such a thing? Your child is disrespectful in a home that I'm helping pay for. So therefore, yes, would I you call and tell her to come get the little motherfucker? Or you just gonna leave him outside? It depends on what our neighborhood look like. <laughs> I just do depend on the neighborhood, but my first oh, thing is my yeah. my first thing is not to call you. My first thing is to call dad because that's who I am directly related. I can agree with that too. I'm just saying before the kid has a chance to come home and tell her listen, some, some listen, lying listen, ass listen, story. Listen, listen, listen. If dad didn't call you to tell you, then he felt like you didn't need to know. That, now he just trying to set some shit up and have motherfuckers fight. That's what he's trying to do. You can look at it however you want to, but if dad didn't call you to let you know, then I don't feel like it was that big of a deal. But if you call me and ask me about an incident that happened in my home where your child was not harmed, then by all means, we can have that conversation. Now, if I was to spank a kid, which I don't really spank kids, I yell at their ass in a heartbeat, but if I was <laughs> to spank a kid, then that conversation would have been had. But it's not a conversation that I feel like I need to have with you because I'm like, oh, you know what? I had whooped your kid today. <laughs> All right, Nucci. Like what? <laughs> we don't need to have that conversation. You're not gonna call me and say, "Look, I whooped your son today." You know the kid like, gonna go home and say me. all the shit. She beat me for no reason, mommy. That's the kid gonna do. So just cut that shit out before he has a chance to. Thank you. Oh, thank Is you God. gonna go to the school and clown if they would have called you and told you the same thing or not called you and then you found out that it happened? You know, you, well you know full well there are people who would. You know full well there are people who would though. So why ask that question? The, my question was directed to you. It's very right. direct. Right. Why well, ain't said kids oh, deserve to get, get they ass whipped when they tweaking in someone else's house? Oh, the fuck do? Go ahead, Nucci. Go ahead, Nucci. Uh, cause I'm, I'm telling you flat out. Oh, the fuck do? My kids or anybody <laughs> else's kids, I don't give two fucks. Do some shit in my shit. Do some shit in my shit. Yeah, I'm a fuck <laughs> Shit, if I got to, you know what I'm saying? I don't like putting my hands on kids. I don't like putting my hands on people at all, for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if I have to, I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to be a, apologetic to no motherfucker about it. I'm not going to be calling no other parents and shit. All that little stuff. No. I mean, yeah, your house gets shot up. You don't shit, wonder why. As soon as you go home and tell them, if they know me, then they know you, your kid got beside themselves then. Flat the fuck out. You ain't it's why we don't have no community. unity in the black community, though. Know, it's a phone call. You ain't got to apologize. You ain't got to ask permission. You could just say, oh, I'm going to send your son home. You, and when I send him home, this is what he's going to tell you. This is why it happened. I'm not even going to have your kid in my place if you don't know me like that. So if you know me, then you know I'm not going to put my motherfucking hands on your kid without it being warranted. Hey, this nigga Wayne said, Wayne said, if your kid do some shit in my house and I don't think you punished them enough for the crime committed, I'm going to beat the parents. <laughs> I mean, well, that's a dunk on dunk crime. So again, I ain't got a problem with that either. Well, I'm not going to question your ass if it happened to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not so, going to question you. So, no, if somebody you... has your son and they whoop him, you don't... They made a good decision. You don't even need to be, you know, heads up. Or if I if I sent my kid over there to that person's house, then I know them well enough to know that my kid did something to get that ass whooping. Okay. But what if that parent hates them? What if he didn't? What if your kid didn't? We're not finna do the what if. I know. We, we got to do the what if. He did. He, that's because people no. be fucking with motherfuckers that they don't know and people exactly. that they don't trust. But see, I don't do that. 
my kids don't go and be with motherfucking people I don't really know. And I'm talking about really know. You know what I'm saying? So you get to really know every dude your baby mama's date. No, but I what I'm saying know. is, I know her. And I know the type of motherfucking shit that she gonna fucking allow. You feel me? So, I, feel, I feel your aggression. Not I know that much. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna it's fuck with that kind of woman. He talked very aggressive. I know for a fact. Yeah, my fucking baby mama. Why ain't said people know they kids? Unless my kid was beside themselves. Why ain't said people know they their kids? You know, if your kids are well behaved, bad as fuck. The only outrage I understand is if they are clearly lying on your child. All right, wait a minute, Stacy. That's Stacy. So um, I don't feel like I have to be questioned about a child. Don't have your child around me if you're going to be questioning me. If you don't have that much faith in me or trust in me, don't have your kid around. But I do understand people that don't like kids or who have the problem. Like, I'm just going to keep this real. My son's stepmother never liked my son because she felt like he was too uh, privileged or, or spoiled or whatever. So she always held a grudge. But, uh, you know, so I kept my son away from them so i do understand people like that but for me um i love kids i do i just want them to act right you know what i'm saying if i feel like your kid ain't gonna act right or whatever I'm, i won't have them around i just don't feel like i should be questioned about uh what your child did or whatever you should be able to trust me and i should be able to you know keep your child or make sure the child is being well taken care of you know so why you say, why you say facts, Stacy? Go ahead, Tom. Uh, if my son was to call my woman a bitch, I'm gonna whoop his ass after she do. <laughs> like, right, for real. That's the same thing That's I see. Shit. Like you can't, you ain't finna be standing out like. And if my baby mama got a problem with it, I mean, I mean, I may, I may have my woman whoop your ass too. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like, oh my god! I mean, I just think it's a common courtesy to let her know ahead. Of. You should call her I mean, and say, no, "Hey, he I'm got no, his no, ass moved today." Didn't know, no, because kids manipulate shit a lot. That's why a you got to cut it off at the pass. So, so, so here, here, my thing is, you, you want a motherfucker to get called a bitch? Stop, call you and say, "Hey, your child." No, 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 no. I'm saying afterwards. I'm saying afterwards. I'm just saying before my child gets to come home and twist some story, you should call. You should call me and say, "Hey, he had to get his ass today because he called her a bitch and he was smoking weed." gonna call you and tell you that because I'm definitely gonna call my baby mama and say, "Hey, exactly." I'm definitely gonna call my baby mama. Hey, this what happened. That's all I'm saying. Real. Make sure the baby mama sure. know before the kids sure. come right. home and lie or embellish. But ain't Just no, to cut the no, drama out. No, hey, as a child, you got to stand in the child's place. I think that that that's, that that statement right there has, has got so lost in today's time. Yes, like kids don't know their place to where a child was straight stating like, oh, you ain't my mama, bitch. What? Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. why these parents need to know their child. Like she wants somebody yeah. to call and, and explain the shit. She shouldn't be able to know her child and know if they're lying about stuff or twisting the story. Oh, see, because somebody, every some, parent some, should some, know their child. Some some parents are just like as a courtesy, I'm doing it. As a courtesy, I'm gonna make that phone call and tell you your child got their ass beat today. But look, but look, so look, look, the thing is, like you just gotta like kids just gotta know their place in the world. Like right. for real. But how many don't? We know most of these kids are raised by television. Why well, he said I sick it to have my girl beat my BM ass part. <laughs> Some birds not her. You better hope she can. Your baby mom like Molly whop that hoe. I would never. I would not be with a woman that can't whoop look with my ex woman. That's right. <laughs> so right, if, I, if 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 we together today, know that you could beat oh, the woman okay. I was with yesterday. That is crazy. Oh, that's a hard feat for me, boy. My my ex bang, boy. So I, I can't even stand. Yeah. So look, so so Nucci, why would you go from a girl that that can bang to a girl that can't bang? No, nah, <laughs> no, I need no a hard feat for me look. though. I'm talking about to find somebody who can whoop ass better than me. Hey, hey, is that the one that was waking you up? Hey, Nucci, is that the one that was waking you up in the middle of the night? Uh -huh. Knocking the shit out you, Marcia. Uh, I know what Marcia said. He crazy. <laughs> 
Wayne hey. says, I would never date a girl who can't fight ever. And CeeLo said, back when I was growing up, if another adult whooped me and my mom knew about it, it was another ass whooping when Facts. I like that, that's exactly. what we need to get back to as a society. Exactly. Like, like we so we like these kids is fucked up out here. But the problem is you have dudes who find a girl at the grocery store and move in with her the next day. So you don't know this girl, he don't know this girl, her beating on your child is not okay. If we're putting the the well, connotation well, that you've met this woman and you know her, how many and how many of these dudes buy her and kill other men's kids? Because they don't like the dude, or they don't like hey, they some hey, mind killing. You talking about a whole different topic. But what I'm saying, saying is, you, you talking about we gotta know the person. We don't always get a chance to know the new chick, and the new chick can literally hey, look, be our hey, kid because she don't like us. Again, I don't give a fuck about no my baby mama niggas. niggas. <laughs> my baby mama tried to introduce to they dudes. I don't want to meet them because my thing is, I may not like the nigga, and I may not want the nigga around my child, but you love that nigga. You get what I'm saying? So now, now I ain't finna put myself involved in myself in something. I gotta stress about this shit because I actually don't like this nigga around my child. So I'm just gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that you're a good enough woman to pick the right type of guy to be around my child. So therefore, like when it comes to a situation, my son can't come to me and say, Oh, dad, this this person hit me. And without me and without me questioning the situation, but in the same breath, if he say this shit to me and and, and it turned out that he was over there like talking to this man crazy and doing something, like, come on, bro, stop playing with me. Right, but, you, but you gotta know you gotta know which one it was was this dude beating on him for no reason or did your son trip that's right. all i'm saying somebody right. should give you <laughs> notice go ahead Tab. this girl this girl act like they in court hey, look tara did she don't trust right, her, don't her, her. <laughs> listen wait a minute i've told i'm sorry Tabitha, i'm sorry Tabitha, real quick i've told y'all the story on this phone with my my ex-husband's wife punched my daughter in her chest and she had boobies because she spilled lotion on her outfit that i bought i went it's to the house and beat her ass I went to her, nope, I went to her house and I beat her ass in her front yard. So I'm saying there are dudes out here who will literally get with women who will mistreat your kids. If it's all on the up and up, I'm not questioning you. Just call me and say, hey, she got a whooping today because she was, she, or he was smoking weed and then called me a bitch. I'm not going to clown with you if you just, don't, don't let me be blindsided. As a fucking courtesy, what is wrong with that? Hey, well, I ain't said my hey, girl has to know how to fight because I'm not above choking a girl for playing with me. Someone else gonna have to do it. All right, Tabitha, everybody else be quiet. <laughs> no, not really much, but because it's hard for me to answer this question because my daughter's father and I saw this stuff the same. Nobody putting their hand on our daughter, no matter what. We had that agreement, and he was married, and I was married to other people. And actually, his ex wife actually ended up not liking my daughter. So I sat here and I thought about this question, like if it really happened, because my daughter, she got, she, she's, a, she's a toughie, you know. Uh, she got a little mouth on her. If this would have actually happened, and that woman would have put his hands, her hands on Alana, he would have fucked her up. <laughs> I wouldn't even had a chance to fuck her up because he would have fucked her up because she should have brought it to him. You don't put your hands on my daughter. You didn't. You didn't. That is how her. it should be. I agree one hundred percent. That's how he would have did. Why said I they fucked her up. That that's how it should I be. I know my daughter because you can't like that right me. today. Can't, and he still will fuck somebody up over me. But that's so, why he ain't got that fucking mouth like that in the first place. Because he ain't got that fucking mouth. We know everybody. She know who the real thing is. And then they go out there and get to talk to the real thing. Because that lady never liked my daughter. So we was right. And and that's why. And that's why. I so if she had been allowed to be beaten on her, she would have. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. And that's why my son never. So that's why we had that. We had that. We're the parents. Right, my son was never Next allowed to oh, and not, not just stay step. together. Step, stay yeah. in your place. Right. Yeah. I, I agree, yeah, yeah, Tabby. I'm the mother. I agree. Yeah. And that's He's why I agree. And that's why you keep your child home or whatever. Yep. My thing was yeah, I put my son away because I would go over there and beat both of their ass because he But I wouldn't like, have to because my daddy would have fucked her up. No, so I would but she so, put her hand on Lana. And I wish knew, you would hear that to this day. Because he, he knew that they, they, they had to stay married though. They was married. So I didn't want to mess up their happy home. So to keep their happy home together, don't my son was cool. Don't be even be over there. So that's right. now in the same I, instance, I say it's a lighter. It's a lighter example, but I think my daughter, when she was like seven, had walked into her on the bathroom and she was like filling the tub and she was naked. So she did call me to be like, oh my God, she walked in and seen me naked. So yeah, you're supposed to let me know what's going on, but I wish you would have ever put your hands on it. Hey, Wayne and said, I hey, Tone, I told my BM if something happens to my child due to the nigga you choose, I'm holding you personally you. responsible. 
I will fuck you. He said, I will fuck them up if it's unwarranted. And that's yeah, so weird and then, to me that people say that, that even you, Wayne, that you said that in the same instance, you said you okay, to, you can, you should be allowed to fuck up somebody else's kid. Had the same energy, though. All right, yeah, yeah. but he just said if it's unwarranted. He said if it's unwarranted. He said if it's unwarranted. You will only know if it's unwarranted if a motherfucker tell you what happened. So I go back to my That's original why statement. I agree with that. You can't just and some people react too fast. So when he said, "How well, I'm supposed to give you a call first? Yes, because if you just walk wow. up and hit somebody's kid, you're angry. You're not supposed to hit any child when you're angry, your own or someone else's." So yes, you should have had the time to maybe make that hey. phone call. So you can calm down and think clearly about what you're fuck you're doing because you might hey. hit that kid too hard. Hey, hey I, we're, we're, we're switching the narrative. The narrative with the, yeah, the child I'm, did that's something. The narrative, the narrative that the, the, the child did something wrong and behind the child doing something wrong. I feel they like they're all my niece said, out. I wish somebody would. I'm going to jail. So over. When, when the child when the child grow up trying to think nigga curse and that's why these kids be out here doing this fucked like, up like, ass shit. And and I don't agree with that because, because I don't. I wasn't raised like that. I'm not out here doing that shit. People. That's I was raised like that. I'm not out here doing that shit. And it's people that was raised like that that's still out here doing dumb shit. So no, your your explanation for that is wrong. See aggressive tap at the net. They yes, still motherfucking got beat up. They 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 got he thinks he's the best motherfucking mama, so he do uh, go out here and disrespect every fucking body. And then she do that anyway, then because that's a disrespectful ass motherfucker. Because and no, and to do that shit. This is one of my own fucking sons. So well, you can't tell me this shit don't fucking happen. But Tab, hold on, hold on. I heard yeah, Tab say something. I heard Tab said she said that it's it's people that's been. Be by their step parents and stuff. What what you say about that? What you say? Yeah, so this is how that happens. And then so he was saying, like, um, he said, Well, we don't discipline them. Those were the ones that run wild or whatever, do whatever. No, it's people that did have that and they dealing with hurt that those people are hurt now because they did get hit by a step parent or something like that that wasn't their parent. Yeah, they're so affected to this day as an adult. Uh, and that's true. My, my and that's true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's true. Because for, for, for me, for me, I was beat by my. I was beat about it. I was beat by my stepfather, and that's why I protected my niece, my nephew, my son, because that wasn't going to happen. Because I know the effect of that. You understand? So you're right. But you're right by that. I'm so saying, that's I'm how saying, I feel. I'm that's how I feel the way I feel about that. We talk about we talk about y'all. Kids. We don't know what y'all saying. Y'all talking yeah. at the same time. We talk about we talk about kids. Y'all that talk. said that they that, that, that jumped out of a kid's place and, and jumped into an adult situation by calling an adult out their name. And we're not talking real, about kids that, that just got that beat just for getting beat. Hello. We you went. We ain't talking about you ain't my daddy. He dead too. Yeah, I don't like, give a fuck about that. Okay, so you gonna go back the same damn thing? Are you gonna go back the same motherfucking way, man? We talking about kids. We not talking about kids that getting abused and like out. We talking about a motherfucking child that jumped out of pocket. You cannot defend the child that's jumping out of fucking pocket, regardless of what the fuck you saying. Ain't so no child that jumping around. out of pocket go grow up and be a per, uh, an adult that don't jump out of pocket. If, if they, I if they jump out of pocket with stupid, you as your woman, you don't got your right to put your hands on me. Put your hands on your motherfucking self. I don't agree hitting is the answer. I don't. You can't make me think that. I wasn't hit. Look, look, sister. Look, sister. <laughs> I'm talking about you talking about my fucking narrative about kids that's being abused and shit. I give a fuck about that other shit. We talking about kids that jumping out of their box and I, not that's what being I'm in the child's about. place. They, I still don't think a step parent She said either way, either way, she don't think that they should I be don't think the step that's should hit them. Way. I don't then understand what you're saying. Say that point. Don't tell me that my shit wrong because of your personal feelings. I didn't say it's wrong. I said I feel. You didn't say it's wrong, motherfucker. I said, I clearly said I fucking feel, motherfucker. I can curse too. Man, you said I was wrong. Damn. I didn't even address you. Yes, you did. She was just saying it's wrong to hit the child, Tom. That's all she man, was saying. I mean, all that you. people should know. Not, man, man, motherfuckers. You took that person. Maybe you hit somebody else's kids. I didn't address you. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, my fucking God, boy. Listen, you yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah.
Either hey, way. listen. Hey, Wayne said I don't believe it. Just being asked. My thing is, if I have to step in, this this is a final option. Yeah. Do what your mama tell you, and you will never have to hear from me. Facts. You're All a right. forcer. All right, my people, just do the family feud. So I just feel like the way people think everybody should just stay with their BDs and BMs. That way, y'all don't have these issues on who's bad. Keep your family. You should have never left that motherfucker if you don't want them fucking problems. All right, everybody, get it, get it to y'all typing. Well, we done had them problems. So Let the fuck we, out. We if you don't ever want nobody yeah. checking your kid, your kid can't leave the house. Checking the is not the same well, as spanking the same thing. Yeah, listen, everybody, get it to y'all type. Of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the same thing. Man, y'all made me lose my fucking blood. Okay. You okay. gonna okay. clown? Okay. You gonna clown if they get locked up and shit for stealing? They jumped out of pocket. I ain't said my BM would be the reason. I, got her. I knew she. Go to your type man. So I got, got me. What's hot as hell in here? It's not. It's cold in here. All right, y'all ready? I don't know. <laughs> Is I'm ready? always ready. Y'all ready for this? Let's first go. Question? All right. The first Let's question it, it says: ready. Name something specific. Lottery winners always say they are going to do with the money that they win. All right, number two. What's the worst thing to spill on a carpet? Oh shit! <laughs> this not fair for me because I know I know. <laughs> All right, number three. Fill in the blank. Blank club. C L U B. Fill in the blank. Blank club. C L U B. What comes before it? All right, number four. Name a country where you will find lots of topless beaches. Oh, I don't know. Oh, a country. Um, Name shit. a country where you will find lots of topless beaches. Shit, I don't fucking know. Either. I'm so scared because okay, all right. I don't know. I mean, and then the last one. Tone over like, what's the country? <laughs> huh? The last question. How many layers does a classic wedding cake have? I, I don't fucking know. Oh, shit. You've been married three times, cuz. <laughs> speaking of Mary. <laughs> hey, not speaking of nothing. I don't speak of nothing. Hey, 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 DG said pay debts they never pay. I think that was y'all ain't into y'all stuff because y'all over there cheating, copying up your fans. I ain't into mine. Everybody, I was first. let me look at these. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, the other ones is cheating and they disqualify because oh, like they turned ain't in yet. Nobody. Tom cheating. <laughs> Tom already pressed enter, motherfucker. Oh, uh, my bad. I had to scroll up. My fault. I'll be out there. Oh, yeah. you the one last. You the one over there cheating. Oh, so now everybody motherfucker, because you too crazy motherfuckers hey, calling you motherfucker. Yeah. Y'all get loud and curse that people and think that make y'all right because y'all loud and use bad words. Hey, look. Uh, Lady, I don't give a shit what you're talking about. This makes me mad. What's happening to put? It makes me mad. I don't know. Use loud words and loud bad words. That doesn't mean you're smarter, bigger, and better. You got loud first, man. It was my turn. <laughs> Nobody should have been talking. What the fuck? Um, first answer? Hey, 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 Sam, hey, I swear, boy, you see your attitude. That's why I don't fuck with Virgo women. You motherfuckers is nuts. All right, man. So, boy, talk about the pot calling a fucking. I get yelled at by everybody I right, talk the, to. The, the, the double one <laughs> answer for the lottery ticket was buy a house. I had buy a house. Why they ain't got a house already? How old did they win in the lottery? It. <laughs> All right. What's the worst thing to spill on a carpet? The uh, number one answer was either grape juice or just juice, period. Tom that said wine. no. He know better than nobody in this wine. <laughs> yeah, wine. Yeah, it's definitely red wine. Thank you. This, this, this is what they said. The double well, that Thank is grape girl. juice, sir. Exactly. No, so, the fuck it ain't. Fill in the the you, do you even know how they out. make wine? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... You're crazy, man. Do that right. ass stuff in wine to make you. it a wine? Man, Fill in the blank. The uh, answer was either 
two number one answers. It was either Fight Club or Breakfast Club. What the fuck? What? Got a strip club? These, these questions. I'm right. hungry. I said Turkey Club. No, strip club or night club. No, I was thinking the same thing, though, Turkey right. Club. I haven't eaten since lunch at work. Oh, my God. Who the fuck was name going a, to Breakfast Club? Name a country where you will find lots of topless beaches. The number one answer was France. The fuck? Hey. That up there. She would. And then, how many layers does a classic wedding <laughs> have? The answer was three. Three tears. And yeah, I, and I, and I, I, I don't know how I knew that. Who got the most answers? <laughs> me. Not me, 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 me. Tara. Tara. All right, all right, yeah. So that is the end of the show. Ricky, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? Um, it's playoffs. For- you got me, safety. It's playoffs for <laughs> kickball. Um, just working, property management. You know, all the usual, the usual stuff. Catch me outside. I'll be outside every weekend. All right. Stacey, let them know where they can find you at. You got anything? I can find up? me in the bed in a minute. I'm tired as hell. I don't know what the, this one to 940. Y'all tripping. <laughs> Isn't that light? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Right. I don't know. Y'all, 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 y'all was going in. 940. Y'all can find Just look look out for me everywhere. That part. <laughs> All right. Tara, let them know where they can find you at. You got anything coming up? I do, you guys. You can find me on YouTube at Opinionated Sense, on Instagram, Opinionated underscore Sense, and of course on my podcast, One Man and One Woman, the podcast. One Man. Um, also, one too, woman. I just recently reached 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So oh. I do have a giveaway coming up. I'm giving away this perfume called Monte Castanara from Novitas Parfums. This is a $300 bottle of perfume. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go subscribe. The giveaway will be up soon. And I look forward to giving this thing away. It's really good, by the way. It's beautiful. You don't have to go through all of that. Just give it her. (laughs) (laughs) Tabitha, let them know where they can find you. And you got anything coming Hold on, Tabitha, before you go real quick. Tara, you don't have to tell them because I don't want them to say that you're being biased because we work together. (laughs) Okay, go ahead, Tabitha. I apologize. No, I'm doing like Louie. I'm leaving. <laughs> Ricky and Thrupp, I'm out. Just like Louie. You can find me finding a new podcast with Louie. <laughs> Tabitha Chate on all platforms. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> At least I'd be nice about you it. Like, you know what? I'm still being mean. aggressive, Tabitha, these last 20 minutes. Baby, tone pissed off. I'm hot. Like I said, motherfucker, fuck, I can cuss too. Exactly. I can't yeah. either. I'm so tired of everyone talking to me loud with bad words. <laughs> I am sick of it. Oh, my God. Tabitha, we did. Oh, I don't Tabitha. curse it. You don't curse the hell at me. Hey, Tab, CeeLo said he want to be on your podcast. <laughs> I don't know who Tara is. is. Yeah, you can have him. You can have him. Girl, you know better. Oh, I saw him yesterday, y'all. Hey, look. Hey, Nucci. See, no, Lord messing with you me. At? You got anything coming up? Oh, uh, shit. <clears throat> Man, you find me right here. Smoke some more for the lady. And keeping all my other shit on the wraps right now. To, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm trying to do some big shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, stay through it. Yeah, so just give me a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I let people know what's going on and what's cracking and what I'm building, you know what I'm saying? All right, man, I got you another message, sir. <laughs> he said he think yeah, I have a grand show tag. I mean, Tara. Stop saying my name for him. What, 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 I'm like, I mean, they're not the same letters at all. Tabitha, Tara. Hey, uh, Tom, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? It's never going to happen, see, Lowe's. Just step why. You can find you can find, <laughs> me getting on, you can find me getting on y'all fucking nerve. Yes, Lord. And I don't, I don't give a shit. Hey, Tom, real talk. You know, I dated a Virgo for a very brief time, but we argued to the top of our lungs. For yeah, like three months. Virgos, Virgos are very passionate about we the shit. We was that they too believe. much alike. Yeah, they're about the shit that if a Virgo believe it in they soul, 
You would never tell them that they're wrong, ever. Sagittarius are the same way. I just stop. Otherwise, I'll just stop talking and just let you just talk to yourself. Oh, um, hey, hey, now nah, I think I got that bad tab. I, I just shut up and motherfucker be like, "So you just done talking?" Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, it was so funny. Wait, child, it was so funny. We was out of town, right? I love town. Wait, wait, y'all, listen to this. It was so funny. We was out of town, right? And Lacey wasn't going for me so bad. He told me, I'm just self talking. I'm just self talking. And I wanted to say something so bad, but I just couldn't. It was like, I felt stupid talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that's why people be mad at me. So you're not gonna say nothing to me. No, no people think they gotta have a last word to win, but silence is actually the answer. Yeah. I do it all the time. Yeah, but that's what you got. You got it. You got you okay. right. Uh huh. Everything you, you say it, is completely right. right. Everything you say is right. What you say, Ricky? Terry, they just voted that your sign is the worst sign on TikTok. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Who raised That's the TikTok. TikTok. That's why I ain't on no TikTok. I don't mind worry about no TikTok. Everybody but I'm going to tell you this. We are very stubborn. I just do not recommend Sagittarius to date. So if, if, if two Sagittarius are together, y'all should break up immediately before you figure out that that shit ain't going to work. I just wanted to let you know that this yeah, didn't come from me. This universe. came from TikTok. And they just TikTok said TikTok is the most they, unreliable source. And fuck them. You tell them I said that. Go put that in the comments. Yeah, TikTok can kiss ass. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. TikTok, TikTok said, be gone. TikTok said that Sagittarius is the meanest. We and are the, the best. Time. We are the best. Oh, that's that's, these that's these bullshit days. because we will never be meaner than a Taurus ever on this yeah. planet. Taurus uh, rate rank like number six. Y'all was number one. Who raised you, Nick? All right, Please. Y'all, man. I see so and many lists, but we are just perfect. We got some big stuff coming up. Y'all already know, man. Listen, that is the end of the show. We will see y'all next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Good night, everybody. Good night.